Just trying to get everything kicking off. Uh? Okay. Welcome back, Uwu. Uwu indeed. Um, a little bit of a, a, a goof where I tried to change the internet I was using because I realized I'd cooked it, but hey, we're back. Back and better than ever. Um, for more Sea of Thieves adventures. Now, let's see. How you doing, cat guy? Let's see what voyages. It's a real uwu kind of. It truly is. Truly it is. Um. Da, 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 da. This is not at all what I meant to be looking at. Voyages. Okay, I've just got that. Okay, that's dog shit. That's dog shit. Let's go fight some skeletons. Looking for a bounty? Yes. Hello, A Cook. Let's crack a lacken. Um. It is a good afternoon. What's everybody up to this 101 p.m. my time and whatever time it is your time? I'm going to turn down the audio here a little bit. It's a little bit loud. It's a little bit loud. Um, well, that, that, none of this seems to be affecting anything. So, hey. We'll just cop it. Working from home. What does that entail? What does working from home look like for you? For me, working from home looks like this. <laughs> um, Shandy, max volume. Uh, let's pick a figurehead together, guys. Would you like uh, Poseidon, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Lion, uh, Skeleton, uh, Halo, uh, Gears of War, uh, Unicorn, uh, whatever this is. Unicorn? Okay, we get some... Bongo and Fucky, done. All right, great. Um, which hull would we like? Uh, Grand Admiral, Bull Hunter, Crab, Hog, Scorpion, Aristocrat, on fire. B burnt one it is. All right, now let's pick a sail. This, this. Swords, green, green. Okay, I'm just going basically the first one I see. Uh, Egmeral, Sogvarin, Halo, Fire, Aristocrag. Hello, Adam Knox. What's cracking? How's everybody doing this fine day? Sog? Which one was Sog? Ah, oh, Sog. <laughs> okay. Uh, Egmeral, Bogakul. Gog and Sega, Hago, Burn, Aristocrat. Hago it is. And finally, Egmeral, Kragen, Sogarin, Bogagul, Hago, on file, Gurigurak. Bogagul it is. Well done, everybody. You've picked a messy ship. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Proud of you for picking a messy ass boat. All right, let's go fight some Skeketons. Where are we going? Smuggler's Bay. Surely that's nice and close. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't fuck me like this, would you, Sea of Thieves? North we go. Boop, boop, boop. Eggmoral. Eggmoral. That's a terrible habit I've picked up from Tom and Demi. Or Demi, I guess, more so. Um, like... Terrible speech impediment that doesn't exist in real life where you just add too many G's. Hego. My neg Jackson. It's, I don't know. That's just, I picked it up. It's funny. It's the funniest variety of speech impediment, I guess. Funnier than a lisp. And it's not real, so. Oh, thanks for the sub, Cyberkey. Um. Cybernoy, excuse me. Sieg of Thieg's. Time to plag seg of thags. Oh, Mr. Mangoes. Gotta wake him up from retirement. <laughs> Mr. Mangoes. Come, welcome back. Um, if you can hear a dog barking next door, I apologize. That is because... Uh... There is one. <laughs> okay, here's... Yeah, I keep Mr. Mangoes in a box until I need him. 
All right, I'm just gonna get. I just my window is open and it's loud outside. I will count on the monkey in a second, Beetle. So I'm just gonna be gone just a second. I'm just gonna leave the boat, Mr. Mangoes. You're in charge, just to shut the window, okay? All right, I'm back. Thought the dog was in game. Just a sea dog. Sea dog. Mr. Mangoes, the people have spoken. <laughs> Farewell. Smell you later. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Mangoes. He can't hear us. That's funny. That's comedy gold. Alright. Let's sail for Skeleton Island and fight some skeletons. Uh, no, nobody over there. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, the dog barking are nice, but look, they're trapped inside. They're quarantined too. It's sad. God bless them, Mr. Mangoes. What was it? There was a voice I was doing the other day. We called the monkey Jack. I do this thing, Kanala, where whenever any of my friends joined like Sea of Thieves for the first time. I would rename, because you can rename the monkey, I would rename it to their name, and when they arrived, I would be like, we named the monkey Adam, because I found it infinitely amusing. And because it was infinitely amusing. It was a hilarious joke. I don't, I don't know who the dog, the dog's, um, gender. I, the dogs belong to the next door neighbor, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I, there are three greyhounds and one Malamute. Or Newfoundland, actually. Not Malamute. Okay. And then let's just... We named the monkey Canala. The dog is the neighbor. That dog rents that house. For, for a donation of one dollar, I'll change the monkey's name to your name and say we named the monkey your name. <laughs> one dollar, that's all it takes. Um... <laughs> Anything good in this rowboat? Plenty good. I'll sail that to my boat when the time comes. Skeletons, Skeletons, where you egg? And there's Skeletons around. Mali transmutation. Where you at, Skeletons? We named the monkey, and then I would say your name. <laughs> we named the monkey Pickle Rick. Turned himself into a pickle. Funniest shit I ever did see. <laughs> That's a great meme, frankly. <laughs> Kanala es espousing the benefits. Mr. Mango, where are these skeletons of having your name said like um, Barbosa says about the monkey? When did they get the monkey in that timeline? That's complicated. Because it must have been after they dropped Jack Sparrow off at the island. But also somehow after they got the cursed treasure. Oh no, I guess actually that checks out. You know what, forget I said anything. Forget I even fucking brought it up like a big moron. Yes, I agree. Postmodern Pickle Rick memes are really funny. They've perfect- they, they just needed to baste for a little bit. I bet the skeletons are down here. Ow. Didn't bring any food. I'm a genius. Oh, something shiny on the beach. Nope, don't want it. It's just another quest in a bottle. Who's got the time? Ah, uh, yeah, Ross from Friends gave... Why did Ross have a monkey? Was, like, Ross in need of a helper monkey? Or was he, like, looking after it for a friend? Or does Ross just engage in the exotic animal trade? Which we've all seen how terrible it is from uh, Tiger King, which I assume you're all watching. Wow, what a doco. We named the monkey Joe Exotic. Um. Skeletons? You're on this fucking island. I can see you right here. Captain Bam Bam Wimeras. Uh. Raising it for exotic meats. Does it? Oh, probably. The Fountain of Youth. Um. It does seem like something Ross would do. Ross does not... He does not care for animals. Um, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean 4, um, 
at World's End. Terrible film. Two good scenes. We named the monkey Joel Zammett. There are two good scenes in Pirates of the Caribbean for At World's End. There's the scene where um, they capture a mermaid. Great scene. It's tense. It's spooky. The mermaid's attacking like fish is really cool. Great. Then there's when the Spanish come and... Where the fuck are these skeletons? There's my fucking boat. I've gone the whole way around the island. Ooh, a hot potato. Uh, when the Spanish come and, and destroy the Fountain of Youth. Another great scene. Oh, I know where they might be. Um, I remember me and Adam watched all of the Pirates of the Caribbeans um, back when we both lived at the studio just because we were like, hey, let's do that. We, we, we would do that sometimes. We watched all the Alien films together as well. Um, we came up with our own... We, we, we had like a pitch for what we would make our Pirates of the Caribbean for because we really liked that when the Spanish come in at the end, they're not there to like steal the Fountain of Youth and use its power for their benefit. They're just like, oh, we want to destroy it because it's a false idol. And that's such a cool motivation. It's not like, you know, every single other... <laughs> Clocker 17221, that was an intense episode. But yeah, every, every single other Pirates of the Caribbean villain is like, I'll use this this pirate treasure for my own benefit. Uh, Skegatons? Um, but in that one, the Spanish are just like, no. We're going to get rid of it. It was it was a great scene. It's 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 cool. You yeah. I'm like oh well may, maybe that would have made like an interesting film. Like I would have set the Spanish up as the villains, and it would have been like this idea that the Spanish are destroying all of these. Where the fuck are these skeletons? This is killing me. I am on Smuggler's Bay, aren't I? Great, a storm. Um. Yeah, that the Spanish are killing... Or maybe it's up, up on top of that ridge. Or, yeah, destroying all of these, like, magical artifacts. And I would have set them up for, like, a brand new Pirates of the Caribbean 3, where the sort of, like, thematic... You know, like, the first Pirates of the Caribbeans are like, oh, we're filling in the corners of the map, Jack, and all that. It would have been like, we're destroying the, the magic in the world. We're getting rid of it. And that would have tied quite nicely into the last one, where they're trying to get Poseidon's trident to destroy all curses that have ever happened um, in the world of Pirates of the Caribbean. Anyway, that's just my wee rant about the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and where I like, I would have liked to have seen it gone, but we can't have everything in this life, and so instead we got some truly dog shit films. I just don't reckon these... Ah, oh, there they are. There they are, the troublemakers. Hey, Skegatons. Where's the rum gone? Yeah, I see you. These skeletons <coughs> at night are really dangerous. Yeah, run, Mr. Mangoes. But if they're, like, damaged, if they got some light on them... Oh, I need to eat, and I have no fruit. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. I just, oh, great. Cursed cannibals. That's what I need. Yeah, I just thought... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, super runaway. That's where I would have gone. That's true, they did do the Fast and the Fury. Man, the last Pirates of the Caribbean is so bad. Wow. So disappointing. I genuinely, unironically love the first three. I think they're great films. No, I, I named the monkey Mr. Mangoes. After my enemy. You know, just, just like Barbosa named the monkey. God damn it, I need food bad. Um, named the monkey after his rival. Um... I had a, a rival named Mr. Mangos. Fuck. Fuck off, skeletons. I'm gonna get shot and die. Oh my god, I missed it. Why didn't I bring food? Am I stupid? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know. Eh? Ha! Huh, ha! Huh. Pomegranates and bananas. Oh my god. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's a guy with an explosive barrel. Fuck off. We named the monkey Mr. Mangoes. We called him that because he loves mangoes. Oh god. Where's that other skeleton gone? There you are. Mr. Mangoes, get him! <laughs> we named the monkey Pickle Rick. Funniest shit I ever did see. That's funny. I don't care who you are. 
Rick and Morty is one of those shows that I find myself watching out of obligation more than anything else. Like I, like I enjoyed it, but it came out and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I'll watch it. You know, I need more fruit. I really came unprepared for this. I'm t oh my God, I'm on fire. How come I'm, oh, I was struck by lightning. That's cool. That's what I need right now. Oh, more ammo. Nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, quickly eats a pomegranate for health. You can't eat a pomegranate like an apple. It doesn't work. It's not possible. Can't be done. Oh, this storm is getting really bad. My ship's gonna get full of water. But I gotta kill these skeletons. Oh, I know where there's some fruit. In that rowboat. Aw, I'm sad that it's laggy. Is it laggy for anyone else? Yeah, let me, let me know. Mango, pomegranate, no? Okay. I just didn't want, to, didn't want it to be on my end and providing you with a less than stellar uh, viewing experience. Um, yeah, I, yeah, that, that's real weird, Kanala. I, I went, um, when me and Dusha went on our beautiful journey to, to Paris Disneyland, um, Maybe, yeah, maybe it's Australian dog shit internet. Yeah, we, we were shocked to see that Jack Sparrow was part of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Um, God, that ride is fun. I've only ever been on the Paris Disneyland. Like, I've been it twice. Yeah, I'm shocked by... Yeah, people were saying last stream yesterday that, like, they were shocked by how good the quality was. Oh, my God. Fuck off, Skegerton. Ow. I'm on top of him. Um, yeah. Whoop, where are you? Fuck are you? And, uh, fuck are you? And, uh, uh, fuck are you? Um, I, well, it just didn't have, like, the ride's exactly the same, and then there's Jack Sparrow. It's just real weird. It's like, and I think he's singing, well, it's funny, because, like, he's clearly meant to be singing... Like some song like rum, rum, where's the rum? But because it's we saw it in France, we didn't know what he was saying. Oh my god, I died. Oh, I would have really loved to. We so um, probably because of all of this coronavirus stuff. Uh, if you listen to the latest Unprompted, why don't we talk about it? But we kind of had intentions to. Oh, okay. I just got struck by lightning. That's how I died. Um, we. We had intentions to go to the UK for a tour in the US as well, but now because of all the travel bans, we can't. But we, um, yeah, there they are. But we had this idea of we wanted to go to Paris Disneyland, and then we were going to go from the UK and go to America, and then we were going to go to Florida Disneyland, and then we were going to go to go to um, the one in California. Um, but unfortunately, and we, I think we even were like, what if we called it the three Disneyland tours? Oh my god, there's a lot of water on my boat. But, alas, um, because of the travel bans, it probably won't happen. Not this year, anyway. Nothing saying it won't happen next year. Um, you know. But, yeah, that was the plan. Plumbing Disneyland. I love Disneyland. I don't care. What? <laughs> Excuse me. I don't care who you are. That place is great. Magic, most magical place on Earth? Yes. Let's see if I can just cannon myself up there so I don't have to walk. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that didn't help. Thank you. Thank you, M Mr. Monroe, for being the only person to give me a bless you in the chat. That's a kindness. Most magical mic on earth. We named the monkey Disneyland Paris. Um... <laughs> Oh, I would love to go to the Japan park, but I also don't really have much desire to go to Japan. Like, nothing against it. It's just not, like, one of those places that I'm... I don't know. It's it's not on my... Oh, somebody chopped down this tree. That's crazy. Just not on my list of places to go. Um, where are the skeletons? There? Oh, there they are. Oh, a Gangnam Style. Remember that? Um... But I've heard that that's kind of like one of the better Disneylands is the Paris Disneyland. I mean, the Tokyo Disneyland one. 
You don't need to know anything about the game. Just know I'm fighting skeletons for... Oh, no. Oh, god damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, this might be okay. If I can just... Oh, actually, wow, no, this is fine. So those guys, um... They need to be wet to be damaged, but it's raining, so actually that worked out. Up a Gangnam Style. That's not how you're meant to sing that song. Up a Gangnam Style. Oh my god. Um. Fuck you. Ah, damn it. Um. Yes, that's true. That's one of the one of the main reasons people go to Japan is to see the anime. Um, and yeah, that's just not really for me. Um, yeah, see if Thieves got good. I enjoy it. I'm having a good time. Uh, excuse me. Um. I watched a great, I don't know if any of you see, there's a YouTuber I really like called Defunct Land, which I haven't watched in a while, but Defunct Land does a great video on both Paris Disneyland and Tokyo Disneyland, and they talk about, um, like, kind of what went into building it, and why they look the way they do, and stuff like that, and yeah, it's really interesting. Like, um, oh, Def it's, in it's such a good show. Oh no, it's dark. Uh, his one on Paris Disneyland is so good, and I also love his one on Action Park. Yeah, Harl Har Harlem Shake. Now, now we're talking old memes. Um, I've been getting real into Gourmet Kitchen recently, speaking about YouTubes. Um, that lady making Claire, I think her name is, making gourmet versions of regular food. It's just fun to watch somebody have a breakdown, That's, you know, over like trying to make jelly beans or whatever. It's entertaining. Skeletons, chicken. Skeletons. Ah! Because it's dark, I gotta light them up with my torch. Uh, where are they? I am la spooked. Huh. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, the skeletons are cut, dude. They're massively cut. They hate it. Can I light this? Nah. Oh, I should. I recently watched the Warheads one. Um, oh my god. There's so many boys. Be kind to me. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Wow, this is spooky. Oh my god, super runaway. Yeah, I know light stuns them, but I'm also scared. I'm a spooked baby. Okay. And it doesn't stun them for long enough. It's not stunning them now. I know what I'll do. I wonder if this will work. It did, that's shocking. Are you trying to eat a banana? You don't have got even guts, so shut up. Not even anything's gonna happen. Jackson B. Baby indeed. I am Jackson B. Baby. I'm ba- oh, hello. I'm Baby. People don't know this about me, but I'm Baby. Come into the light, come into the light. Oh, he's a ghost. He's laughing at me. Eat your banana. Yeah, it's good I can see their eyes. I, it, it is. It's a small win. Um, well, can I, uh, look, Adam does play Sea of Thieves with me. Uh, something that we, we were trying to figure out still is, like, how to stream from multiple computers, because obviously... Oh. Um. Banana Soul. God damn it. More ghost skeleton. And where's this fucking skeleton captain? Oh, no, these are the boys from before. Um, yeah. But, so... If Adam did join me, it would he would be 
just using like the in-game mic, I guess. Um, okay, now the beef boy's here. Oh my god, it's just more of these motherfuckers. Um, but yeah, look, maybe. Hassle him on Facebook. Go on the Sandspants Facebook group, tag the boy. Yeah, he is- Oh, that's the fucking boss, man. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Yeah, I- I think that's- Why have I- Oh, I've hit a tree. Fuck. I think that's what we'll end up doing, but, um, I don't know what he's doing today. Um. So, look, maybe he'll join me? I- I'm probably gonna- God damn it. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ow. Well, yeah, that's what we've been trying to figure out. Oh, okay, that doesn't hurt you. Oh, okay, cool. Um. Yeah, try to figure out if that's, like, a viable way to do it and all that. I imagine it might be. Um. And it's something we want to look into. And, like, we want to do sort of some more... Like, Let's Plays, kind of, like, back in the day. Um, no, it is. Just come on June now. Okay, so I can't find any food, but I can eat bait, I think. <laughs> Although I don't know how. Maybe I can't eat bait. Damn. Um, yeah, it's just started on June for us. I think it's June 2nd. But it's like one tw one thirty here, basically. So I don't know what time it is for y'all. But yeah. Ah, I missed you guys too. Yeah. Well. Oh, there's another pirate captain. I just don't have time for all of these pirates. Um. April, June, whatever. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's all months, Evelyn. It's all months in the dark. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, two twenty-two. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God! Electrocuted, and I'm dead. Um, yeah. Maybe Adam will join me. I don't know. We'll see. I'd like him to give me a hand with these damn skeletons. But, um, yeah, it's 2016, October 31st, 3 in the morning, Mr. Monroe, go to bed. By Final Fantasy, Resident Evil 3, or both. I've not heard good things about the Resident Evil 3 demo, which, like, I don't know, I have no Resident Evil opinions. I really liked this, the Resident Evil 2 remake, that was heaps of fun, so, I don't know. But people are like, oh, yeah, look, the game was the worst game in the series, and the, um, the remake is also the worst game in the series. So, take that opinion. I reckon get the demo. Zamet loved Final Fantasy, but he's a big weeb, so he would. That's just not true about Zamet. But, he was playing something recently that he was like, maybe he, he's, he's getting into anime. What was it? Not anime. Something cage? I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Kill a snack. Ow. Instant coma. I, uh, yeah, I never played, I played Resident Evil. Whichever one looked like a giraffe. The, <laughs> the, like, logo for it. I played that a bit with a friend. What? Res uh, Back to the Future musical, that rolls. Yeah, Snake took its sweet revenge, board stiff underscore what? Rightfully so. Wow, I've been fighting these skeletons all night. That's crazy. Yeah, it might have been Resident Evil 6. I don't know. It was alright. Um, was Resident Evil 4... I don't know. I played the one in Africa. Oh, no. Not even a zombie giraffe.
Fuck off. Skeletons. I got no time for... Ow. Ow. Got... No. No. Oh my god. Die in the sun. Yeah, I've, yeah, I played five. It was fine. Hey. We got the skull. And it sucks. It's a shitty skull worth no money. Yeah, maybe I played Zoo Tycoon 1. I used to love Zoo, Ty Zoo Tycoon. I used, um, me and my brother played that heaps. Me and Ryder. That and then Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. That game was boss. Used to just make, like, towns in it. Because you could just build, like, walls and stuff. So, like, I'd make houses and mansions and manipulate the terrain. Yeah. Play the game heaps. But I reckon I don't have the patience for it now, which is interesting. Like, I reckon if I went back and tried, I would be very bored. That's sad. <laughs> Everyone's been there, Stantium. You're right. You think you're playing Resident Evil... Uh, six, but then all of a sudden you realize you've been playing Zoo Tycoon this whole time. Oopsie daisy. Um. I never, I've, I've, so many of those old, like, sim games as well. I always found as a kid that I just never understood them. I don't know if, if y'all had the same experience. Like, I just didn't know what I was doing. Like, I would jump in, certainly with the sims, uh, just a regular skeleton. Hey, hey, sweaty yeti. Oh my god. Ow! Um, yeah, like, I would just jump in and be like, what's happening? How do I win? And I just didn't know what I was doing. SimCity and... Um... SimCity and The Sims, most predominantly. I think so. It's always improving. They added fire. They added, like, a story mode. Um... Oh, that's a good idea. I, I like the idea of doing that, Ethan. What games? Harry Potter 2 for the PC. Yes. Is that skeleton ca captain still here? No. He d he despawned. Um, yeah, boss for pie. It's easy to get confused. Now wait, am I playing uh, uh, f fucking The Last of Us or am I playing a game of two-on-one basketball? It's hard to tell. Oh, that's very funny, Canola. Um, friend of Sans Pants, Thomas Edgoose. Um, he bought me Arkham Origins as like just like a lovely gift because he's a lovely friend, and I still have yet to play it, and I feel so bad. Every time I see him, he's like, "Have you played it yet?" And I'm like, oh, "I'm sorry, I suck." So, um, I'm gonna do a spot of fishing while I'm here. Well, that's what I hear, but then I also hear people being like, actually, Origins has, like, some benefits. But I played all the others. Yeah, only seven, year, seven years late. Hmm. Oh, leeches. Alright. Oh, I picked up a whole bunch of grubs before. Where am I? Okay. Earthworms. Earthworm fucking gym, eh? Hey? Motherfucker. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, Origins, people are like, no, you know what? Origins was like a, just a different game. Sort of like a different sort of game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Far Cry 2, incredible game. I love it. Love it to death. Um, I suck at it, but I love that it's it's got all these like kind of interesting mechanics. Mm. I agree, Ethan. Night, I played, and I, I, I see where people are coming from for Night. What kind of fish is that? Um, but it's definitely got its merits. Um, the tank stuff, it's, it's, it's feels wrong for, like, a Batman game, but, like, it's, it is fun, I think, is the kind of weirdness for it. I found it had, my only problem with Night is that it had a lot of, like, filler side quest, which you didn't have to do, but like, I don't know, a couple of them were quite boring. Being like, ah, oh, take out this tower, take out this fucking tower, take out this fucking tower. I got sick of it. But, other than that, 
Yeah. It's, it seems weird as well because... Oh, well done, Kai guy. You fool, K Green. Instead of watching the Tiger King, watch watch me fish. <laughs> yeah, the OG Far Cry is crazy. I think you fight raptors in it too at some point. Yeah, well, that, that's the, all of the like side quests that were relevant to Batman were good. It's just weird when it was like, hey, fight this mercenary company. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, you know, who cares? Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on. Come on. Get tired. There we go. Boom. Little flat motherfucker. All of plenty, Finn. Great. And again. Whoa. Yeah, it's a good fish, Sweaty Yeti 42. Absolutely. Um, I don't know about wh which Minecraft server do you mean? I mean, me and JD have certainly taken a break from our um our Minecraft streams, but I don't know. Was there another community Minecraft server no one told me about? You've been keeping a secret from me. You've been hiding it. It's really funny fishing in Sea of Thieves to me because. They didn't really want to put it in, as far as I'm aware, but like, people playing it were like, guys, we want to fish. Oh, fuck, a skeleton. <laughs> Don't you see I'm fishing right now, you dirtbag? Oh yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I, 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 I don't know what happened there. Um... Yeah, K Green for the foreseeable future. It might not always be Sea of Thieves, but I'll be playing something. Um, I'm playing just on my computer, so if you've got something you would like me to play, it can only be on the PC. <laughs> what do you mean, Evelyn Violet? Fly fishing's a thing. People fish on the beach, right? Have I been misinformed about fishing? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, what's that guy? Uh, it's too far away for me to see. I don't know. Is that a good fish? Whatever, I'm catching it. I'll play Arkham Origins one day. No, I know what you mean. I think I, I, this is. I don't think this kind of fishing exists on the beach. Maybe it does. I don't know. I ain't a fisherman. Boom, bada, boom, boom, boom. That's a good point, Evelyn. It's rare to see fish when you're at the beach. Yeah, I am stuck inside, bored stiff. But. Uh, like, I still go out for, like, a walk or something, but I can't. I don't know, boss for pie, because I'm stupid. Because I was born with a smooth brain like a rat. Putt-Putt saves the zoo. Uh, that's an adventure game, isn't it? I hate adventure games. Ryder knows about fishing. God damn it, this is a terrible fish. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. Ryder knows about fishing. Ryder's an incredible fisherman. That's, like, his hobby. Like, he goes out to the... To like for a week away with friends and just fishes so impressive the boy's got skills he has a whole bunch of swordfish that he caught like frozen in his freezer that i should really ask him for bong, bada, bong. yeah the fish is op nerf the fish please hey there we go who's this customer cloudy plenty fin all right yeah, Ryder apparently does. Ca he he's he's crazy. Ryder, you ever read, read that like like that text post that went ar around a while where it was like, I reckon some people. Yeah, he caught a swordfish. He was fishing and he caught a swordfish. Yeah, I think I posted it on my Instagram. If you go to Hams Forever, oh that's right, I'm full of water. Uh, yeah, if you go to my Instagram, there's a photo of it. Ryder's doing okay. He's like one of those people that very much just loves being by himself. So he's fine. Um, yeah, I was confused as to what you were saying about Chewy Island. Um, ghost fish? That's cool. Oh, no, let's be clever about this. Um, yeah, Ryder, yeah, he's, he's, he, yeah, there was this text post going around that was like, what if some people just have, like, magic, but it's like really low-level magic? <gasps> 
Who who just tipped that one dollar? I cannot tell. Sans pants tipped one dollar. Well, okay, Sans pants. <laughs> I guess I guess I'm going to rename Mr. Mangos Sans pants radio. We name we named the monkey Sans Pants Radio. <laughs> okay. There's Sans Pants Radio, the monkey. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Sans Pants. Much appreciated. I'm just spinning on the spot. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What just happened there? <laughs> who, can, who can say? Who of Sans Pants is watching this? <laughs> I'm going to guess Joel Zamet cheekily that's true it isn't wearing pants so kind of works kind of checks out okay 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 it would be a monkey it's true wait a second all of my shit <laughs> we named the monkey sense pants radio funniest shit i ever saw horse could be no, uh, fuck. Yeah, I don't think we're quite monkey level. We'd be an angry ape. You best start believing in podcast networks. You're in one. Oh shit. I angled this terribly. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ooh. Ooh, nothing but net. <laughs> nothing but net. Who's this skeleton? Is that a skeleton captain? It is. Anchor's away. Let's 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 fix these holes first. Oh, Ethan, Ethan doing the tip. All right. Hey, split lips. What up? What up? Okay. Okay. <laughs> we named the monkey Ethan. There you go. We named the monkey Ethan. Funniest shit I ever saw. Thanks for the sub, boss for pie. <laughs> it's good. Uh, I think Doucher is watching. What up, JD? How you doing? How you smelling? How you living? Where you at, Skeggerton? Skeleton Joe. Whoa! Eat ass. Eat ass. Eat ass. Eat. Mm. All right. Let's bring out the fucking fucking. Yeah. What's some of these fucking eat a banana, motherfucker? All right. Give me. Give me a second. I gotta get back to the ship to rename Miss the monkey one more time. There we go. But um. Ba -da -da -dum. You didn't tip a dollar? Huh. Well, I don't know what's going on then. Did somebody tip a dollar for you? Oh, well, I mean, I guess that's nice. <laughs> How kind. Okay. I gotta figure out this riddle. Hold on. Huh. Well. Uh, no, you, I'm well. I'm all on my own, um, K Green. But there are other people on the server, other pirates around. But I'm playing solo currently. There are three tiers of ship. I am on the smallest tier because, um, I'm just one boy. Oh yeah, let me let me rename let me rename Ethan. Oh. We named the monkey Kai guy. Funniest shit I ever did see. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I find it very fun to do solo a galleon. It, it's it's hard. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can build your ship. All right, Sand Space Radio Tim to Dollar again. Okay. Sure. We named the monkey Sans Pants Radio again. <laughs> Bum ba da da dun. All right, what are we doing? I don't know what's going on, but I'm liking it. I'm liking the chaos we're currently experiencing. Sans Pants love tipping Sans Pants. Bum ba da da dun. All right, so we're gonna solve this riddle on this island to get something good. <laughs> Get something tasty. Somebody messing with me. Funniest shit I ever saw. Morty, I turned myself into a pickle. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's a great quote. What a man can do and what a man can't do. I can kill you right now, but I can't sail my ship on my own. Ugh. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, Death Dragon DK. Five dollars, thank you very much. Oh fuck, I'm gonna crash again. Five dollars is more than the cost for the renaming of Mr. Mangoes. So, uh, is there anything else you would like? First things first, let's rename this fucking monkey. We named the monkey Death Dragon DK. I'll also name the purple fool after you. We named the other monkey Death Dragon DK. <laughs> well, bless you, Dr Death Dragon DK. You're both my monkeys now. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah, that monkey doesn't know what's going on. I hate the purple fool so much. He's my least favorite monkeys. Thanks for the bits. Kella4879. Um, fire, fire the monkey. I will. Let me solve this riddle. You need... Oh, for $5 I'll... Well, see, it can only I'm doing that anyway. For $5 I'll crash the ship. How <laughs> about that? Um... You need a clue, help, a clue, I'll grant thee. Seek the abandoned supplies at the beach landing point and solve with the same- No, that's very annoying. We named the monkey five, yeah. Um, no, they, they keep saying that they'll, um... There we go. That they'll add, like, oh, ship naming in a captaincy update, but they've never done it. Um... But they will eventually. Reading this map, a clue you'll see. If at the entrance to Smuggler's Cavern, ye standing be. Terrible rhyme. Um, I'm fairly sure all of the riddles are, like, randomly generated. And the rhyming structure is just really bad in all of them. What did it want me to do here? Ugh. Da-da-da-da. Find the cliffside stony grave to the northeast. This riddle bewitches. Seven paces south by southeast. Will your shovel strike a box of riches? Three dollars. Well, I don't know what to do for three dollars. Is that five dollars in American currency? I'll crash the ship. Uh, northeast. Let me just solve this puzzle, and then I'll crash the ship. I don't think real real pirates were largely illiterate, so... They didn't know. They couldn't speak a word. Um, yeah, real, real, pir real pirates can't rhyme. That's just, that's just life. But the creators of Sea of Thieves presumably could. Rare could write a well-written riddle. They just chose not to. Sail to the volcanoes. Alright. Let me just solve this fucking riddle, and then I'll sail to the volcanoes. Where's this grave they keep yammering on about? Oh, it's very pretty. Sea of Thieves is a gorgeous game. Alright, let's just, let's just, okay, where are we heading? Southeast? Bring back saucy boys? Just you wait. 
South by uh, Northeast. Northeast, okay. Yeah, they love their sea shanties. It's true. Oh, you. Oh, no worries. Did they say that the thing was on the cliffside? The cliffside stony grave. So it's got to be around here somewhere. I think I saw it earlier. Dun da 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 dun. Where's this fucking grave? I'm on the cliff. Uh. Ah, there we go. Okay. There's a snake nearby. I'm gonna get bit. Seven paces south by southeast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. Boom. What do we got? Oh, the purple fool is with me. Sorry. Death Dragon DK. DK Donkey Kong. Hey, sound off in the chat. Who's your favorite Kong? You gotta tell me. You gotta give me your Kong opinions. Where's this fucking skeleton? Yeah. There is a right answer. Yeah, perhaps it was the monkeys we friended along with. Kink? Ethan, you ch you cheeky sons of bitches. All of you giving me silly answers. Donkey Kong, Sweaty Yeti 42. Great choice. The original and the best. Grumpy Kong? Himbo Kong. <laughs> Love that Himbo Kong. Big dirty fan. How you doing, April HT? We're sounding off about our favorite Kongs in the chat. Who's Grumpy Kong? I know Cranky Kong. Maybe that's who you're thinking of. I don't know. Funky Funky Kong for sure. Um, yeah, Himbo Kong also great answer. Um, do you know that in Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze for the Switch, there's something called Funky Mode? That's very funny. Jimbo Kong, great Kong. If you had to create a Damn, Cranky. Yeah, I get you. If you had to create a Kong Sona, you know, say like that was like the sweeping internet trend. Who's your Kong Sona? What would your Kong Sona be? My Kong Sona would be Dastardly Kong. And he would be like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. Um, and he would always be trying to eat the smaller Kongs. Dun, da, 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 dun. Yeah, Donkey Kong, incredible soundtrack. Truly one of the best. Yeah, right? Imagine Evelyn Violet if we lived in a world... <laughs> old Lighthouse Runner Kong, Stony Kong. Well, these are good. If we lived in a world where, like, instead of Sonic becoming this very strange internet phenomena where people created their own, like, comics and fan fictions, it was the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong and the Kongs. Chad Kong. The Chad Kong versus the Virgin Kong. <laughs> That's funny. Now, what is the other island we're going to? Lone Cove. There we go. Okay, to the southeast. Darth Kong. Death Kong. You've... You've activated the Death Kong. Where's that? Mm. Look, we'll also make that a goal. Let's get that thing. Viet <laughs> Kong. Evelyn Violet, great pun. Hey, car guy, welcome back. Um... Great, great pun, and what I like about your pun, Evelyn Violet, is that there are very few instances where you can make that pun. This is the only one, maybe ever, you know, where they're like, what's your favorite? It's, it's, it's good. You saw an opportunity, you seized it. I'm proud. Bum, bum, ba. Let's catch some fucking wind. We named the monkey Carl Weezer. Funniest shit I ever saw. That's my favorite pirate accent. Barbosa, you know... Uh, actor aside, great pirate. One of my favorites. It is funny, April HT. Sea of Thieves, I recommend it. Get yourself three other friends, get a galleon, fuck about. After I give this island a little search for trouble, um, I'm gonna change how I dress and we can pick my clothes. You worked on it? What? That's crazy, April HT. Tell me more. I'm fascinated. What did you do? Yeah, it's still fun solo. How did you get here first, Death Dragon DK? I, I mostly played it solo before I could finally convince my friends to join me. Oh, don't want to eat my fish. <gasps> Some rum. Golden Sands Outpost. 
Okay. Okay. Anything else on this island? Oh, it's absolutely pirate dress up. 100%. Forest of Mist. How you doing? Yeah, that that rolls. Well, thank you for... Like, I don't know what you, you did for it, but it's given me a lot of joy, this game. So, much appreciated. Hell yeah. Um, so, the rum bottles... If they get smashed, they are no longer useful, which I think is very funny, um, because I they definitely will get smashed. Uh, where's Golden Sands? Because that's where I need to take these. Blimp. All right, well, let's go to Lone Cove, and then from there, we'll go back to Golden Sands. Oh, wait, hang on. Well... Look, we're heading into the Great Blue Yonder. It's good to take my eyes off the ship for a second. All right. What hat do you want me to wear? Brown Ganner, blue hat, pirate brown hat, red hat, fire hat, d uh, small hat, bones, conquistador, front hat, d little boy, uh, uh, parrot hat, b big hat. Blue hat, big hat, big hat again, little fat hat, witch hat, bones done, what shirt, white shirt, rope shirt, blue reg, little vest, uh, uh, hunter, puffy jacket, uh, this, this d no shirt it is okay what glove rope this this glove uh, hot this glove this glove green which glove uh uh hurry this glove <laughs> done i i i think we're here oh uh Another player. God, am I on a collision course for their boat? No, thank God. Another player who's asking for friendship. Bankable Druid. <laughs> Great name. Dude, this is one Bankable Druid. We can make a lot of money off this Druid. Now let's see if they attack me. I'm gonna lower anchor over this side of the island. Yeah, that is annoying, Evelyn Violet, but there's also a lot of emotes, so I can be like... Whoa! What? Eh, eh, where? Heads or tails, heads or tails, eh, what tails? What you looking for? Skeletons. To fight. Maybe I... Yeah, whatever, let's do it. Let's put up an alliance flag. Let's make a powerful new friend. Hey, it's annoying, Sea of Thieves, that the text comes out. Feels like it comes out in the wrong direction. No, I get that, Evelyn Violet. I wish that sometimes I would love to be able to come back into a third-person mode to just see what I look like. And it's weird because, like, obviously that is an option because you can see how your friends look, so... Yeah, I don't know. So much of this game... <laughs> it's actually Joel Douche, he's been a big Sea of Thieves fan for a long time. Hello, how you doing? I don't know if you can hear me. That's fair. Oh, damn it. I gotta put my fish away. I'm gonna turn off... T hang on. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want him hearing me talking to you guys. Uh, there we go. Um, imagine if it was Joel Dusher and this whole time he'd been like a big Sea of Thieves head and every time I'd been like, let's play, he just hadn't. Well, see, I can sell those fish, Mr. Monroe, for, like, the fishing trading company, and I don't want to accidentally eat them. That's... that's the fear. So, let's... let's put them in here. I should probably put away everything that I've gathered over this whole... this whole time. There's such a good chance that guy's just gonna attack my ship. 
Like, it just wouldn't shock me, and it would be fair. It would be so reasonable. But maybe he'll help me build up to be legend. The dog. More wood. More cannons. One Brennan. Alright. This one Brennan will have to last me. No. Like, oh, God damn it. I want fruit. Skeggitons. <laughs> Cheeky. Jaldusher would be chaos in Sea of Thieves. He would constantly sh set my ship on fire and there's nothing I would be able to do about it. And that would just be life. I just have to accept it with a Buddha-like calm. See, I quite liked on the Minecraft let uh, stream, eventually me and Dusha banded together to destroy Trent, the true villain of the pace. There we go, now I got fruit. That was good. Not enough streams end with the killing of God, you know? I mean, obviously some do. He's off. Unless that buy was like a, like a, bye bye and then he blows my ship up. Oh yeah, we gotta do PC by Mike. Absolutely, dude. We gotta do it so we can have just Mondo Big Bucks mods. Is there a great mod the other day called like the Create mod or something? That like, it's got a whole bunch of moving parts. Big fan. Oh, I made a friend today. Farewell, didn't join my alliance, but farewell. Ah, oh, pride flag. That's good. Be gay, do crimes. Bump, bump. Where are these fucking skeletons? So much of this is looking for skeletons. Look, it's an idea. Um, April HT. Poor Zamet. I know he really would love to play Sea of Thieves, but he just, he has a Mac. He's a Mac boy, so he can only play Mac games. Like a dirt bag. You know? Yeah, that's sounds- look, it's definitely an idea. I can't make any promises because I genuinely don't know how it works, but... Um... But it would be fun to do. Why the hell? Get him an Xbox. I would love to. He should get himself an Xbox. Oh my god, a pineapple. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that before I started, I was playing Sea of Thieves today. I was like, man, it would be fun to just, like, emulate an old GBA game and stream that. But I don't know the legality of it. I don't know what the what the deal there would be if I were to stream, like, Pokemon or something. Yeah, Mac games are no good. But Zamet, he does well, because he, he loves his, like, top-down sort of fantasy games. Pineapple's great, dude. It's an incredible fruit. Sound off in the chat. Favorite fruit. Hurry. Clock's ticking. Um. Yeah, that's true. Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah, good point. I guess they weren't doing it on, like, an actual Game Boy, so... Look, it's something I'll think about in the future. Before I, like, had money to buy, like, consoles and, like, a good PC or whatever, I, uh, played a lot of a J uh, 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 emulated Game Boy games, so I'd love to go back to it. It's fucking Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Now that was a game. Pomegranates are great, incredible fruit. Where the fuck are these skeletons? If I go in the middle of the island, it gives me spooky music. Cherries. Interesting. Oh hell yes, yeah. Spy Kids 3D for the GBA. Fuck yes. Where are these fucking skeletons? I'll give up soon. Is that what you want, Save Thieves? You want me to give up? G-Force? Is, is that the one where, like, fucking... Uh, what are they called? Little round fuckers? Uh, I keep wanting to say termites. Hamsters? Are spies? Yes. That's true king shit right there. Maybe I give up. I don't. I don't know where this fucking skeletons are. Guinea pigs, that's it. Those little hamster cunts, those little motherfucking garbage rodents. I love bananas. That's probably my favorite fruit. I feel like that's an unpopular opinion. Like, I think everybody likes bananas, but they're nobody's favorite. But I think for me, they're my favorite. Joel Zamet's bananas. I love to eat his bananas. It's very funny for me. Oh, that's true. 
That's true about pomegranates. Where the hell are these skeletons? <laughs> Can anybody remember the G-Force characters' personalities? That would be impressive. Yeah! Um, whatever. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. I think if we get a company Xbox, um, Adam would be very happy because he could play his Halos. He loves his Halos. And I found out recently, ish, when I did a, um, uh, I should really watch GeForce. Yeah, when I did a episode of Total Reboot on Dr. Doolittle, I found out that Alexi loves his Halos too. He's like read a whole bunch of, um, uh, Halo, uh, fan fiction and shit. I should really, I should really somehow tee up something between Adam and Alexi so they can just talk about how good Halo is. Let's do a bit of fishing. Can't find the skeletons. Grubs. I think I need earthworms for here, though. Halo is on PC. I used to do a thing on Halo with some friends where we would play and we would just... Only fists. Just like a beatdown. It was a lot of fun. It evened the playing field, which I like. Um... Oh, yes, please. D oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yes, man. That Tiger King documentary is so fucking good. So good. D man, where are the bugs? I need some fucking grubs right now. I need some grub leeches. God damn it. What if I... If I got any earthworms? That's not what I meant. Bait. No. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, uh, anything in here? No, but I'll take the storage crate. Oh yeah, those were the days. Playing Halo of, like, school internet in your, like, tech class or whatever. That's true king shit right there. Well, don't know where the skeletons were on that island. Fuck it off. Oh, see, here's my theory. I think she didn't necessarily kill her husband, but she certainly... She took advantage of everything that went down she just she just used it to her advantage greatly that's my theory southwest but honestly who can say who really knows um all right uh let's say uh for two dollar donation you can pick the next kind of voyage i do go find treasure go fight more skeletons uh fucking let's even say go fishing for a little bit Let's even say do a quest. You know, you can pick. Even just if you want me to just sail around the islands. Chilling, kicking it sweet. That's pretty. That's nice. That's good. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild Netflix documentary. Just truly, like, worth, worth a watch. Oh, hell yeah. I love those gaming memories where you're like, I, like... Oh, hold on. Some shit's going down. Who's here? What's, what's this noise? What? What's happening? I can hear the spooky music. Oh, there's... There's another ship. Is, is that it? I don't understand. Is this ship engaging? Yeah, but I can't see the Megalodon, so I don't know. I think this ship's engaging in glorious combat with me. No? It's my friend from earlier. Hey, pal. I think the game just thought we were gonna fight. That was spooky. Oh, what's... What the fuck? What's that? Glowing in the water over there. I don't know. That's Mondo Big Buck Spooky. Oh shit. I'm gonna crash into this island. Nope, I guess I gotta come around. Maybe they fired someone at me? And missed? I don't know. That was weird. That was very weird.
I don't know if you guys saw anything about that that I didn't, but... Okay. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me just get it back on course, and then I'll sacrifice the monkey to the Poseidon. To the ocean gods. The old and the new. Lords of the sea. The briny deep. Hmm. Maybe I have fish and chips for lunch. Be a late lunch. But I am hungry. Kill the purple monkey cunt. Well, Kai Guy, that's another... That's very much an option. Um, whoop, come here. So long, Death Dragon DK. Smell you later. Let's send him high up. Ugh. Sea of Thieves has a very weird profanity filter. I don't think it lets me say Ted. No, what was it? It's just like a regular name that it won't let me say. April HT, it'll be back. I fire him into the air. And then, look, he's good. He's a little burned, but he's he's largely good. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, there's just, I don't know, there's like a weird profanity filter for Sea of Thieves where it lets you say some things, no issue, and then other things you're like, why? Why is that? No, Purple Fool got sent to space once, that's plenty. The Purple Fool, why is everybody on the Purple Fool's side? Um... If you fire a pet, they do one point of damage, which is not a lot. I guess if you continually fired your pet at an enemy ship again and again and again and again and again, eventually you might sink their ship, but... Sail the sea. See what there is out there in the ocean. Oh, plenty of... Fuckery to be had. Okay. Coming into port. Unlimited ammo. Yeah, that's true. Always against me. That's true. Nobody's ever on my side. So rude. You ready for this incredible park? Ah, oh, shit, son. Ah, oh, shit. Sort of cooked it, but anyway, let's, uh... Let's take in this crate of rum bottles. Wait, where am I taking it to? Wanda. Who the hell is Wanda? Oh, I think she... Where's the... Surely if I jump in the water, that won't break them. Yeah, good. Butter that bread. Mmm. <laughs> Mr. Munro, that's funny. Um, Wanda? Are you Wanda? Do you need the rum? Are you Wanda? Hmm. Um, look, there's a chance that... Uh, so my friend TDB came on last time I was playing. He did not know I was streaming. Very funny. Um, and he dressed himself like Mr. Gibbs. So, are you Wanda? Who the hell is Wanda? Maybe she runs the bar. You know what? That would be clever. Yeah, the sky's pretty. It's gorge. One thing Sea of Thieves, I think, d it does weirdly is that the... You're not Wanda? You... Am I at the right outpost? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I cooked this. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Fuck. Don't jump. Don't jump. What the hell? That's everyone. That's everyone, though. This is definitely Golden Sands. The dock? Yeah, I spoke to her. She didn't want them. <laughs> I'm just racking this from. <laughs> Jesus. See? That's Sherry. That's Sherry. Wait. Wanda at Golden Sands. Hang on, is this Golden Sands? Did you... I checked the tavern. Who wants this rum? I've checked everywhere. Nobody wants it. The other one? What are y'all talking about? This lady's name is Tracy. This fella's name is Duke. This guy's a mysterious stranger. What are they gonna put up here? Something. 
Look, I think I'm just at the wrong outpost. I think I cooked this. Oh, well. Look, the bottles are pretty fucked. So, I'll check. But I didn't think she wanted it either. Fuck. Hey, lady. Nope, that's Wendy. I must be at the wrong outpost. Oh, well. I wonder how destroyed I can make these bottles. Unfortunately, I can't drink these ones. Ah, thank you, One Shot Johnson. Um, there will be a fall from grace between the Chult seasons, but um, and obviously there's always you know all of our uh, Sandspans Plus shit. But I won't be on for a while on a on a main adventure. It's true. Ah, yes, that's why things are not great. Southwest. I'm dumb. Okay. Now to get out of here in a way that doesn't destroy my ship. Um. But yes, I don't know. Until we. Oh shit! I cooked this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. We can come back. We've just gotta pull ourselves. We gotta pull ourselves over. That's okay. Um, well, thank you, Wancho Johnson. The upcoming fall from graces, I'm very happy with. I'm very proud of. Um, there's some. The, I finished editing the the last one, and wow, it's it's intense. Well, yeah. Now I've got to come. Just going over land. I'm fine. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Alright, well, we'll just have to about turn. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. Let's go check what's, uh, what the situation downstairs is. Less than ideal, but also better than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, it's just me. Just me, right now. Having oceanic adventures. Okay, and then... And we're off! That wasn't so hard. Let's just sort out, uh... Sort out these holes. You know what I should do? I should cook that fish from earlier. Damn it. Um... It's alright. It's okay to have a couple of leaks. Where? Where's the other leak? The one up here? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Let's cook some fish. Okay. Um. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Didn't mean to pour the water in. Oh shit, I'm going in the wrong direction. Southwest is where I'm meant to be going. Back. Um. Ah, thank you so much, One Shot Johnson. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the fish. I just gotta. <laughs> Evelyn Violet. Fair. Um. Yeah, I've just gotta. I've gotta cook them first. They'll be worth more if I cook them. But I gotta be going southwest to sell this destroyed rum. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, very much so, April HT. And it's the kind of emergent gameplay that I frankly live for. Oh shit, how's that fish doing? Cooked to perfection. Oh my god. Oh my god, who is he? And then, no, I don't want to cook the pineapple. No, wait, where's the other fish? Oh, right there. Okay. Cook that cloudy plenty fin, baby. Boom. <laughs> it's good. You gotta keep me in check, Evelyn Violet. Otherwise, I'll get too too excited, too too full of myself. All right, we're good. We're heading in the right direction. Wop wop wop. Okay, let's uh let's uh thread that needle. Camel through an eye of a needle, or whatever the Bible quote is. 
This is such a pretty part of the sea. There are four oceans in the Sea of Thieves. I know, I know. The four oceans are the... Ancient something? <laughs> Ancient Isles, maybe? Spoils of Plenty and the Wilds. And the Spoils of Plenty are just gorgeous. Um, and everything else is a bit dreary. But yeah, I've always loved the Spoils of Plenty. If I can, I just, it's, I don't know. Looks the nicest. It's always sunny. All the islands are nice. Save the pineapple for pizza. Horos, ho you're on the money. You can pass a needle through the eye of a camel. <laughs> that is true, but not the other way around. You seeing this shit? We threading this fucking needle, yo. Ooh. Is that a shipwreck or barrels? There's barrels. I don't need... Is one barrel? Oh no, it's a couple. I don't need them. I can get in the cannon. I'll, I'll die, but I can do it. I finished Breath of the Wild. Oh, I still have a leak. That's funny. Um, I started playing it again on hardcore mode. That was quite nice. But then, I don't know. It's hard for me to keep playing it because I, I find it a bit... And this is so weird to say. Repetitive? I, I don't know. Okay, I'll find myself out of it. I've done it already on this stream. I'll, I'll do it again in a bit. Um, first of all, we got to keep changing our outfit. Okay, which jacket? Brown, blue, reg, greed, black, yago, metal yago, blue, tits, brown, red, uh, hot, this, I don't know why it's not coming up. Is th that's not what it looks like. Reg, Skeggetons, Braug. Metal it is! Okay. Belt. I put on a dress, but that would cover up everything else. Which belt? Seg, Yego, this, this, uh, fire, shark, bone, <laughs> Braug, Yego, ropes, uh, fish, fire dick. All right, done. I think we've arrived at our destination as well. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ready for this park? Oh my god! He's done it again. He's done it again. It's incredible. People don't talk about how good he is at. Oh no! The fish burn. Fuck. Fucking hell. Forgot about it. Damn it. That's gonna be worth nothing now. Damn it. I'm stupid. Are they all the holes? Alright. Now let's sell this rum for fucking... Ba ba ba! No fish. Woo! I'll eat the burn fish. Are you Wanda? No. I'll eat the burn fish, don't worry. That's my best banjo kazooie noise. I think that's pretty good actually. Banjo kazooie, what a game. Are you Wanda? No. I think she does live at the dock. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I can't stop singing the Pirates of the Sea of Thieves noise. You're not Wanda. Are you Wanda? God fucking damn it. <laughs> Which one of you is Wanda? You Wanda? No. What is going on? I've already spoken to you. Must be... It's the weapon shop lady. Ah, oh, thank you for looking it up. Bless you, Forest of Mist. Hey, yo, Wanda. You're welcome. Three hundred dollars. Nothing sus. She enjoyed. She was. She was happy about it. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend some of my doubloons so we can use that ashen chest we found earlier. Hey, fella. Yo, Duke, give me a key. How much are you selling a key for? 
Oh my god, so much. Alright, whatever. Goodbye. Ridiculous. Dun, da, da. Splintered rum bottles. Yeah, it's so good when your rum's a bit gl glossy, a bit cutty. You know, people like that. Right, let's cancel this voyage. Ash and key. Boom. Is it on the island I'm on already? Yes. It's good to have your ship a bit wet. Okay. I'll... <laughs> Kiowa, when the time comes, I'll figure it out. Okay, I think this is... Nope. This way. Just a three-point turn. Yeah, it'll be okay. We'll get out of here. No stress. Cheeky ass. There's so much, like, lore to the Sea of Thieves that, and this may shock you, I don't pay attention to. Is that not where it is? That's more like here, I guess? Laws for suckers. Alright, let's go unlock this box. Sot? What? Chad the Kroger. Oh yeah. <laughs> Paying attention- exactly. I would rather just not know what's going on and then get mad at it. Open. Let's go sell this shit. What's your favorite Bible quote? That's my question for the chat. Sound off. Okay, fella. First we give you this. No, shush. Have that. And then we sell you that. And then we sell you that. And then we close this. And we sell you that. And then we find out what we unlocked. Lawless. Alright. Hmm, a lot of instruments I don't want to buy. But also... No, just instruments. That's annoying. I got the banjo of the Ashen Dragon. And a concertina of the Ashen Dragon. And the hurdy-gurdy of the Ashen Dragon and the drum of the Ashen Dragon. That is a beautiful one. Okay, I'll buy the banjo. I'll buy the fire banjo. How much are you selling this fire banjo for? Probably too much. Oh, nah. That's nothing, sure. Let's buy the fire banjo. And lo, the angel said unto Mary, God so loved the word, <laughs> the world, that he has chosen you to carry his commies. Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Wait, where's my boat? <laughs> my boat's just on its own little journey. That's great. Have you. <laughs> And lo, Jesus said, have you had your better health plus today? <laughs> Alright, let's go hunt some treasure. I'm watching you, I'm watching you, you thieving pirate. <gasps> yeah, sure. New title's been added to my vanity chest. Damn, I'm lucky. I'll play the banjo in a second, Kai Guy. Always Remember. asking me for things. Whoa, Chad Kroger, that's a heavy Bible quote. But then again, which Bible quote isn't heavy? So, you know. Eh. Hmm. I'm surprised my boat has survived this long, considering. Really feels like a... Ch oh, that's not good. Did I not drop the anchor or something? <laughs> Um. Okay. Where are we going? Mermaid's hideaway. Where are you, Mermaid's hideaway? There you are, you. Southwest. Okay. Now let's get out of this pickle. So, first things first. 
We'll up the f sail. Because if we up the sail, we can turn on the spot. Okay. Now we want to, I guess, turn in this direction. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I No, I did. The anchor was lowered. From there, Elijah went up to Bethel, and as he was walking along the road, some boys came out and jeered at him. Get out of here, Baldy, they said. Get out of here, Baldy. He turned around and looked at them, and they called a curse down upon them in the name of the Lord, and two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the boys. That's a lot of boys. That's very true. I don't need that April HT. Thank you for keeping me in check. Um, that's so many boys. That's, that's scenarios. I always thought it was like two guys jeering at him, but I guess... Was something far more intense. Um, damn it, heading in the wrong direction. Okay. Ooh, actually, this way's probably better. I know. What what scenario results in forty two kids yelling at you? That's crazy. Wap 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 up. Sweaty Yeti 42, great point. High school. That's where it happens. If it's gonna happen, that's where it happens. Okay. Anybody watching Westworld at the moment? God, that show is stupid. Like, I love it, but damn, is it dumb. <laughs> like, fucking, um,. Uh, what's his face? Guy played Jesse Pinkman. He's got a cry map. Oh man. TV's good again. <laughs> Alright. To Mermaid Hideaway. It's so silly. Oh, I could have sold just any of this, but I just didn't. <laughs> oh, if I was a real pirate captain, um, I would make. What are the roles on a pirate ship? <laughs> I was gonna be like, yeah, and then I just realized I have no idea what any of them are. Uh, I guess we'll go to Sea Dogs Rest and then we'll go south to Mermaid's Hideaway. Um, Aaron Paul, that's the guy. He's got a cry map in the new Westworld that he follows. Last episode was pretty good, though. Swabbin. Master at Arms, Sextant. Okay, first mate, Adam. Sextant, Joel Zamet. Master at Arms, Zoe Bellotta. Cook, Joel Dusha. Zamet, Wheel. Steering Wheel, Cass. Boat, Handsome Tom. Parrots, anyone else. Uh, yes, I'm a barrel. What's in the barrel? Oh, I was meant to eat that fish for you all. Hang on, I'll just eat this pomegranate. I'll just eat this other pomegranate. Hold on. I'll just eat this banana. I don't know where the fish is. <laughs> I lost it. Yeah, Cass would make a good mermaid on the front of the ship, and I think she'd enjoy it. Hmm, night has come. Spooky. Uh-oh, spooky. Okay. Yeah, knew there'd be a skeleton captain on the front of the ship. I, yeah, I, I stopped us too early. Yeah, the sext is that one that like looks kind of like a protractor. Yeah. What would you have on the front of your ship? And also, what would you name your ship? Sound off. So, what would your figurehead be? And uh, yeah, what would you what what name would you give your ship? Adam actually, when we play, loves to sit in the crow's nest with a telescope. He's real into that. Let's harpoon this skeleton. Yeah, I missed him. Oh, Saxon is the people. I thought a, a what well, a sextant is the is the um the tool, and but maybe a sexton is the person that uses the tool. I don't know. That's good. Oh, April HT, great choice. Ahoy! Waylon. Oh, Penguin's also a good choice. Uh, okay. 
So it's up and around. Hmm. Mr. Fist's on the front of the ship. It is night time. Uh, is that here? I think that's here. Litmus test, two and a half goats. Oh, it was just a captain's chest. Well, oh, that's disappointing. My boat would be named Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, and on the front would be Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes Piercing. <laughs> that would be what I would have. Oh, an Angry Goose is good too. Very sad. A church of... Oh, I see. Um, wait, was that? Yeah, that was. Hm, boring. Pissing on what? Well, whatever you want to put there. Oh, Mercy for some. Great name for a ship. Very cool. Life goose for the threat. Strapped to the front. South. Big fan. How many lines from D&Ds for Nerds are said in every stream? Great question. What's your favorite line from D&Ds for Nerds? And I'll say it. No matter what character said it in the, uh, in the actual season. Bwop, bwop, bwop. <laughs> Where's that off fish? Oh, here it is. Okay. <sighs> Ow. Mm. Hot fish. Hot singles in your area, great name. Very, very big fan. All aboard the hot singles in your area. Oh, boats within boats. Big fan. Big fan. Boats within boats within boats. What is the true boat? You know, that's the real question. I should really try and catch some... Oh, I can't. I was going to be like, I should catch some wind. No. I'm sailing into the wind like a hero. Infinitely recursive boats. Boats all the way down to the very depths. What's the topic again? <laughs> That's the thing I say every episode of anything I'm in. That's not good. Don't eat a whole boat. Hey, what's your favorite shut up a second argument? That's the question for the chat here right now. Greg motherfucking piss. That's a good title to get. My favorite shut up a second argument of recent is me arguing with Adam that I could eat the entire Taj Mahal. It's a big fan. Ah, the Lego bucket. Ah, <laughs> uh, never seen Adam seemingly, genuinely on the verge of an actual mental breakdown. Oh, breakfast was good too. I could absolutely eat the Taj Mahal. Air in this room. Remind me of air in this room versus air in a different room. Walk to the scarecrow of the south. The abandoned home says, "Okay." Wait, the south of the... Oh, south of Bannon Homesteads, okay. Just, yeah. Adam was right about which? The air in the rooms? What is he talking about? April HT, I believe you could beat a kangaroo to death. Next time somebody says you couldn't, tell them that I say you absolutely can. And in fact, I encourage it. Daytime, nighttime was good. Those were good classifications. Oh my god, you again. Oh my god, explodey boy. Shit. Ah! Damn. Oh, right, yeah. Did you know that for that Lego bucket argument, somebody made, like, an informative YouTube video explaining how we were wrong? And that was very fun. Like, somebody full-on went to the effort of making, like, a... Let me explain how this works, and they had, like, diagrams and stuff. It was crazy. 
You did bring it. Okay, sweaty out of your body. I remember that. Yeah, if I inhale air from one room and exhale it in another room, that's different air. It's air from this room. I, I, I wish I could remember where it was, but damn. Truly hilarious. Like somebody was like cut and it had happened. I'm sure if you look up Lego Duplo argument on YouTube, you might be able to find it. I recommend you all do that now. Ooh, what's that up here? Hmm. No, it's different air. It's air that I took from one room to another, i.e. two different kinds of air. Also, Hop, you made the video. That rolls. Is that what you were saying? Oh, there's nothing in here. I'm very impressed if you did. I love so much that you went to the effort. I love so much that that, that argument, it truly destroyed a great many people. And, and that's very funny for me. Fuck off skeletons. Oh my God. That was crazy. That Watching that work blew my mind, uh, Aldemar. Watching Cass just stop sneezing. Like, she just couldn't. She was out, done out of sneezes. It was so impressive. You would never imagine that would work. South Abandoned Homesteads. Oh, here we are. Presumably. Ten paces northeast. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Around here. Earthworms. Hmm. What are you complaining about, Purple Fool? Death Dragon DK, I mean, I'm sorry. These must be the homesteads to the south, right? And then we're walking 10 paces northeast. That's into a rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe it's on the other side of the rock? Does it? Oh, walk to the scarecrow. Oh, there he is. Okay, ten paces southeast. Northeast, I mean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, don't be embarrassed by the video, Sir Hop. It's wonderful that you made it. I died. I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan that you you went to the trouble because, like, fear. I wish, after every argument that I had on Shut Up A Second, somebody went to the effort of making a YouTube video explaining why I was wrong. That would please me to no end. If, you, if you, somebody made a video where they were like, right, here is how much marble is in the Taj Mahal, and here is, you know, how much marble Jackson could conceivably get in his belly, etc, etc. But also don't feel at all so hops like you got to show the people if you don't want to. It's your choice. <laughs> You're very right, Mr. Monroe. Hey, look, I'll fire myself out of a cannon for everyone. This is what they want. It's what you wanted previous. Woo! Bop, hmm. bop. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba oh my god, so many fucking skeletons. Oh my god, oh my god. You, you're crazy. You're crazy if you're gonna go to the effort. Alright. Hopefully these skeletons will just... Yeah, good. <laughs> uh... Great question. What is my height and weight? I don't know. 
Take a guess. So long, Kiwal. Enjoy your night shift. Little treasure chest? Nothing to sneeze at. Wop, wop, wop. Sans Pants Wiki. Sans Pants Wiki would be very cool to see. A Dandies for Nerds Wiki would be very cool to see, but none of us really have the time to make one. But to put it all into place where you can be like, uh, Greg Piss, and then Greg Piss was referenced in, you know, this season, and this episode, and stuff, it would be very nice. Alright, well, there's Wanderer's Refuge. There. Oh, back to Lone Cove. Okay. Where's Lone Cove? Up here. Back to Lone Cove. Whoa, where's this little boy? Be around here somewhere. Little chunky little island. Is it Picaroon Palms? I think so. Yes, it is. All right. Hey, Steven Strangle. What's crack a lacking? All right, let's go east. Community one. Oh, uh, yeah, there, there is a d and for Nerds Wiki, but it has not been updated in a while. <laughs> That's so funny, Ethan. That's so funny. Shut up a second, it's hilarious. There's just no consistency. We recently recorded a whole bunch of Shut Up a Seconds over Zoom, which I will be editing once I finish streaming. Um, with Mia. We did about six in one day. It was crazy. Me and her just fucking gunned him out. There's a shipwreck over here. I'm gonna go to it. My throat was saw by the end of those episodes. That's a lot of talking. A lot of talking about nothing. Ah. Uh, that's very funny, Steven Strangle. Yeah, it's like a bl blistery day, isn't it? Blistery. Like a rainy day. Oh, yeah. They're fabulous episodes. They're so good. Mia is so funny. So, uh, there's a couple of JBSAs. Yeah, we did a couple of JBSAs with Ralph. Ralph Athanasia, so get ready for them. In one of them, he spooks me, so or attempts to, so get ready for that. Ugh, lower anchor. You mean a JBSA where Adam tries to do that? I, I believe that. I, he, he loves the idea of it. Um, oh, what do we got here? Crate of Exquisite Spices. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Bless you, Sir Hops. You're too kind. You're too kind to share with us something wonderful. I really should watch Curse of Oak Island. I've heard it's quite good. Zoe, I think, loves it. It's the kind of show Zoe would adore. Hey, there's a little chest in the crow's nest. It's a dog shit chest, but here's the one. Oh yeah, Adam, he's got no time for my bullshit, and I think that's why we're such good friends. I know I'm under six foot. Yeah, I love the, go the Ghost Horse episode is great. Ghost Horse episode is crazy. Adam remembers that so differently to me. I was shocked. Oh, man. There is almost definitely nothing in Oak Island. Or if there was, it's destroyed. What's a topic you'd love <clears throat> to hear a JBSA on? Like, I, I'm in a weird position where I've done so many topics that... I'm, I'm not, it's not like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, but I've got to search a little harder to find stuff I think would be interesting to hear about. So what's something you'd love you'd love me to talk about? What's a mystery hell? If you've got a mystery right now, I'll give you my opinion of it. Little mini JBSA, how's that sound? Baby Al Alyosh Al Alyo Shanka is the baby Alyo Shanka uh, alien baby, yeah. So that alien baby, if it's the alien baby I'm thinking of, is almost definitely a calcified fetus. I was reading about that kind of recently. Whatever ha I don't know who you're, you're talking about. It's crazy that that's still the company byline. Um, 
Balloon Boy? Oh, let me tell you a little something about Balloon Boy, April HT. Balloon Boy is innocent. Balloon Boy and the dad are innocent. It's just true. I can give you a detailed account of how if you'd like. But if you look into it, it's pretty fascinating. He was incorrectly maligned. Uh, okay, let's go deeper in here. Let me explain to you how Balloon Boy is innocent. So, uh, the Soda Children. Soda Children is one I should do. What's the Taniwa? Okay, I'll explain Balloon Boy, and then I'll then I'll look. Okay, so there are. Five pieces of evidence that people, I think five, maybe a bit less, piece of evidence that people use to explain why Balloon Boy is um, guilty. So, the first piece is that when the Balloon Boy was, uh, when Balloon Boy was uh, first thought to be in the air, the parents called the newspapers before they called the police. The second one is that he pleaded guilty in court. The third one is that his wife admitted to it, um, in, under police questioning. And, oh, what else is there? There are some other ones, but I forget which. And then I think, I think there's, oh yeah, and obviously when the kids said that, oh, we did it for the video. Yeah, the internet historian video is exactly the one I'm thinking of. Um, in fact, just go watch that. Internet historian occasionally uses some problematic language, but damn, they're good videos. Um, so yeah, yeah, look, just, look, I'm just gonna literally reiterate that, so just go watch that. Um, oh, the Toy and Bee files are cool, I should do a JBSA on them. I assume they're just an art piece, there's nothing massively mysterious about that, but... Yeah, he is pretty good these days, Chuck I loved his one on, um, No Man's Sky, that was really good. Okay. Um. But yeah. Uh, yeah, the Toyombi files would be a good JBSA. Uh, I'd, I'd like to do something on them. Um. Yeah, yeah, so I've done two JFK. <laughs> Who shot JFK? My favorite theory is, of course, that the Secret Service person that was behind him in the... Um, in the the motorcade, his gun went off and he accidentally killed JFK. Just because, my God, what a story. But I don't think that's what happened. Moon landings are just a real thing that happened. Um, if you ever are interested in them, uh, there's an incredible website that basically just goes through and refutes every single argument people have as to like the moon landings being fake it's very good i recommend it i am drowning but i think i've got everything so let's get out of here yeah jfk's head just did that but yeah there's a great website it's just like oh this argument that about the moon landing here's why it's, it's stupid like here's why this argument that the moon landing fake doesn't make sense oh my god eat a banana oh my god eat a coconut i'll be right um. Really? What? Why were they? Was that just like in a panic because JFK had been shot? That's crazy. Eat a coconut while swimming. Eat a coconut on its own is impressive. Uh, all right. Where am I going? Damn it. All right. Let's put this fish away so I don't eat the fish. Ah, oh, shut up, little man. Shut up, little man. God, that's an incredible docker. If you ever get a chance, I recommend watching that. Southwest. <laughs> that's very funny. I like the theory that, um... That, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What, what is it? That yesterday is the, the movie about the Beatles or whatever is Ed Sheeran's, um, like, 
uh, what's what's the word? Confession that he is experiencing a yesterday style scenario that he just popped up out of nowhere with some band that doesn't exist in our timelines music. The real reason the Titanic sank is because of the mummy on board. <laughs> uh, fuck. Confession, yeah. Thank you. People say there was a mummy on board the Titanic. They're like, yeah, there was a mummy on board and it um was cursed, as mummies tend to be. Do you know that there's, um... There's, like, all of this historical documentation. Black Shuck? Classic. Definitely just folklore, but still very interesting. Um, do you know there's all this documentation about a massive labyrinth in ancient Egypt? That, like, Pliny the Elder and a whole bunch of stuff said that they saw and, like, bore witness to, but nobody knows where it is? I just think that's cool. Wait, did I need to come here? You've distracted me. I didn't need to come here. Damn it. You're at a fault for this. Oh, absolutely. Mummy cursing an ocean liner is great. You go on, you're like, what's going, what's happening? Oh, shit. And then, you know, you find out it's a mummy. JBSA stands for Jackson Belly Spooks America. A name picked literally in seconds. I'm very dumb. I need to go here. Northeast. I, God, to be clever. Yeah, Pliny, look. Don't trust him. But he's not the only person that uh, that documented it. Like, several other people did. I just think it's real interesting. And then there was, like, an... Oh, boy. Um, the forests of Maine are spooky, but um, the missing 411 guy, he crazy. He, 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 he loved to misrepresent fact. Oh, hell yeah, Sandatoon. Share it in the chat so we can see how cute it is. Yeah, what's his name? David Paulides or something? He, he, he loved to tell lie to make story seem more impressive. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Am I heading in the right direction? Yet again, no. Why do I suck so? Should change the name to Jackson's Bizarre Spooky Adventures. Oh, that's cool, Nightwolf. You live near the Beast of Bray Road. Go see that motherfucker on Baboon. There's quite a few spooky things that like I, I would I always feel bad when people ask about because I'm just like, nah, it's a myth. That's fake. I don't know. That's not that's not fun for anyone. But like, yeah, it comes up quite often. A lot of people were like, do skinwalkers. I'm like, skin is, is uh, Skinwalkers is just stories 4chan started telling. You know? Wow, KY Alexander, go to bed. Unless you just woke up. Then, hell yeah. Bum, ba -da -da -dum. Anyway, back to putting on clothes. We've nearly got our outfit complete. Okay, what pants? Sega pants? Impigigal Chogren pants? Reg? Wig? Le <coughs> Leather? Hunter so, n No pants it is What shoes Sandal Dapper boy Lacy socks Blue brown Metal Little red Socks <coughs> Metal Point no sure Oh yeah Put that pirate on wiki feet Baby! Alright, where are we going? What a look. I like just I look half-dressed. Like, I don't look... I just, yeah, just like I'm not properly clothed. Bump, bump, Slender Man. Slender Man's just something awful telling stories. Man, that got out of hand. Tell you what. 
Suck. Sea of Chives. Sea of Chives. Dwa, dwa, dwa. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba ba. If you were casting a movie about Sans Pants Radio, who would you have to uh, be the actor for everyone? I picked Dwayne the Rock Johnson for Adam. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I do look very wrong. Uh, we're we're all well. It depends on what you mean by shut down. So, basically, we're all. Oh my god, we're all staying at home. Um, and there's like we're in like lockdown level three or something, which means we can't can't leave the house except for work to get like groceries. Damn it. Um, fuck off. To get groceries and a whole bunch of other stuff. But fuck off. Shanks is all cast members. Great question. Except Shanks is basically a part of Sans Pants, so... You gotta find someone to play Shanks. I guess Shanks could play himself. Missed him. Fuck. Zach Braff is Dusha. He would be cut. Man, finding out that Zach Braff and the guy who plays Turk are making a podcast about the show they were in. Come on, guys. More skeletons. This ain't fair. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna fucking die. Banana. I died. Vince Vaughn is Dusha. Great choice. Josh Gad. Rude. Chadwick Boseman is Amit. Great choice. Tilda Swinton is Adam. Great choice. Um, all excellent choices. Who said they were listening to Dinosaur? Sorry, I just completely. Somebody said they were listening to Dinosaur Universe. Ah, oh, April HD. Great. Dinosaur Universe is my favorite of the original Dinosaur Saga. Zabbat loves Dinosaur Park, Dusha loves Dinosaur World, and I love Dinosaur Universe. Yeah, that's the way it works. That's that's what we're doing, Slipway Steve. Oh, you, are you in Melbourne as well, maybe? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's try that again. Harrison Ford is Carney. Beautiful choice. I'm glad somebody's thinking about Carney and all this. Oh my god, this guy crazy. Where would you like to see, for those who've listened to Dinosaur Land, where would you like to see Adam and Cass go next? Where, what would you like to see... Man, people want Shanks to play everyone. Idris Elba is Zoe B. She'd be, she'd be pleased about that. Pleased and horny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. Solo the Hawk. Oh, why'd I get... Alright. Get a little commendation. Yeah, up. Great choice. Okay, I got two things to do on Wanderer's Refuge. Find the Grave Robber to the southeast. No turning back. When that's done, read this map. Why well, I'm at the southeast. Hollow Earth. Good choice. Bold Strat. Haven't started Dinosaur Land. It's a trip. Adam and Cass doing a low honor run was a shock to all. You sort of think they'll be the most wholesome. Brennan Fraser's the mummy. Oh, I, I love the idea of Tom and Demi doing a dinosaur park. Look, maybe one day. Once Adam and Cass have had their adventure, I'll need someone new to send through the fucking nightmare. Grave Robert of the Southeast. Well, Dinosaur Land was part one of Adam and Cass's adventure. I always like something like Dinosaur Park the game for Tom and Demi. Um, Jackson hollowed out the earth for more park space. That's good. That's Give me ideas here. Hollowed out the earth, found a terrible under the planet kingdom. Under the planet kingdom. 
Oh, I think the graves around here. Yeah, there they are. Dinosaur Jumanji. Dinosaur Park, the board game. There it is. Mum and Dad and Ryder are doing okay, because they live kind of like, not rurally, but in the country. They're just kind of like, chilling. Uh, southeast. South by southeast to the palm trees. Just here, I'm assuming. This dinosaur Zathura. God, running my parents through Dinosaur Saga would be wild. Gotta do uh, d and is for mom at some point. It's something we keep meaning to organize, but other stuff gets in the way. The dream is to make that a sort of trilogy where it's like dinosaur, uh, not dinosaur, where it's like d and is for mom, d and is for dad, and d and for rides. At some point, something. Look, we've got forever, so d and is for melody. Yeah. But yeah, we've got forever, so I'm sure you get everything eventually. Ow. Fuck off. Bum -ba -da -da -dum. There's always more content coming your way. That's a promise. Bong. Dandies for family. Aww. Oh, I haven't played the banjo for you yet. I'm so sorry. I bought that banjo so long ago and I just completely forgot about it. It's so rude of me. Where's my boat? Bum ba da da dum. You know what? I'll just dump this on the beach. <laughs> sure did. Sure won't. You just watch. You just watch and see if I shuffle off this mortal coil like a regular human being. Kill a chicky chick. Get some chicken drumsticks. Oh, yeah. What cannon? I mean, that's what the fucking... The, basically all the dinosaur adventures do. To the wandering lover's resting place to the southeast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good. If I die, take it to court. That's the rule. The rule. This will be the wandering lovers. Here they are. Ah, oh, so romance. Uh, with a song. Let's play the drum. Where to next? Wonder as well, okay. Saw that earlier. He is a known liar, it's true. Bum ba da da dum. Oh my fucking lord. I've had it up to here with fucking skeletons, I swear to god. You're making me sick. No, what's really making me sick is eating all of this raw chicken. But damn if it ain't tasty. Mmm. Where's this well? But banjo. Well, I'm gonna play the banjo when I g get back to the ship. Throwing up a lot. I shouldn't have eaten all that raw chicken. Okay, I think the well is up here somewhere. Crunch. Crunch. Raw chicken crunch. Maybe the well's over here. Yeah. Now that's an idea, Santa Tunes. Honestly, I don't recall where it comes from either. I'll, I'll level with you. But we ran with it. Hmm. Where's this fucking well? Is Delta Green... Oh, there's the well. Is... <coughs> Is Delta uh, Green that one where it's like a, um, uh, a, like you're trapped in the Amazon? Because that does look fun. I should get that. From the wonder as well, up high in the, oh my god, back to the, f oh no, I'm here. I'm stupid. S 
southwest to the palm trees. Eh? I should have figured out how far. I'm stupid. Eat a worm, stupid. War, ba ba ba. Oh. Oh, I, I was right. Bump, ba -dum. Oh, an ashen chest. Hey, nothing to sneeze at. That's all right. I'm throwing up a lot. No, that'll be the worms I ate. That's fair. Pro tip, kids. Don't eat worms. Ugh. Um, I'm probably going to call this stream 3.30ish, I think, is when I will be finished. It has been an honor. Fuck. Whoa! Um, what games would you like to see me stream? What what would be your dream to see me stream? That would I would I'd like to know, because like I love playing the Sea of Thieves, but maybe that's boring for you. Mm hmm. I like fucking around on it and 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 something I'm doing anyway. But yeah, if there are other games you'd like me to play, I currently have just started a playthrough of one of my favorite top five video games of all time, Alan Wake. So um. If that's something you'd like to watch, I would like to figure out how to do that. I'm not playing Kingdom Hearts, real rack. I hate it. <laughs> no, that's a bit aggressive. It's fine. It's just not for me. Also, I, I can only play games on my PC. Ooh-wee, Alan Wake. I love Alan Wake, Ethan. That game is mint. Half-Life Alex. I, I have played RimWorld. I'm bad at it, but I have it, so I could, I could play that. Sure. Um, do I need my other things? Not really. Where to next? Monster Prom, Prison Architect. Prison Architect could be funny. Where's Lone Cove? That's up there. Alright, so I guess let's just head north. I struggled for so long to get the fucking... It does not run nicely on PC. Uh, probably I could get Turok too. Just punched the mic. Yeah, I was looking at the Xbox Game Pass. That's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's got like Outer Worlds. It's got the new Ori. Yeah. Surgeon Simulator. No, I keep looking at Return of Obra Dinn and being like, do I want to get this game? <clears throat> and then I don't, yeah, I don't grab it. I don't know. Oh, Void Bastard looks good as well. <clears throat> Final Fantasy 15. Hell yes, Ethan, my boy. Who's your daddy? That sounds fun. Um, what would I hate? Which game? Who's your daddy? Games I... Yeah. Whoa. It sounds like I would... It sounds like I would like it, but be bad at it. FIFA 2006. Finally, a good game. <laughs> How do we look? Oh, fabulous. Incredible. I get such skinny, weird legs. Play Neverhood and read all the lore. No. I'm telling you right now, it ain't happening. Time is money. That's the name of this particular emote. <laughs> emote. I look so much like Einstein. Like if Einstein was a pirate. <laughs> Like a note will mention a brother and you check a book of the creed and see- Oh boy. Hmm. That sounds fun, but I just don't think I would be good at it and I have to imagine that would be frustrating to watch. Can we catch any of this wind? No. Factorio, yeah. Sometimes it's stuff like Raft? You could play Raft. Oh yeah, something to think about. If people are desperate for me to play Ober, Ober Din or whatever, I guess I could. Get ready to watch your man get very frustrated. I don't know when, probably won't be this week, but look, maybe. Bum, ba -da -da -dun. Anyway, let's play that banjo for you all. Yeah, Pokemon I could do. Uh, no, quit. 
equipment, equipment. Uh, <laughs> read the Silmarillion. Now there, now we're talking. Now we're finally getting some good suggestions. He loves his magic. Well, he loves Magic the Gathering. I don't know if that's the same. Probably not. I've just humiliated myself. I'm surprised that in none of these streams have I encountered, like, a Kraken or anything. That's nuts. Yeah. Look, Oberdin is a maybe, but probably not happening, really. Prison Architect could be funny, though. Any of those, like, architect games. Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Love is in dangerous space time, yeah. Yeah, Dusha loves his Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I don't think he's played it in a while, but... He's into it. Wait, was Cannon Cove somewhere I needed to go? No. Um... I think I would struggle to get into card game. Magic the Gathering is, is... It's not for this boy. I'm not clever enough. Learn to play banjo on stream. My dad plays the banjo, and he would love to teach me. G genuinely, my dad would jizz his pants at the idea- of, Oh man, bad sentence. I regret saying that, but at the idea of teaching me banjo. Fallout New Vegas? I do have that. Um, Journey to the Savage Planet? Yeah. Slime Rancher? Yeah. All these are good choices. Oh. There it is. Fallout 3? I loved Fallout 3. Ooh. Oh boy, is that a galleon? Or is it another sloop? That's a full-on galleon. Hmm. Mm, your boy's spooked. Your boy's spooked. He's gonna avoid him. Don't need that shit. Hmm. Scared. Golf with friends? Oh yeah. Don't starve. I saw a game the other day that looked really fun. Um, what was it called? It was like a game where one of you has like a... Oh, mm, true. I can imagine. Uh, where one of you has like a communicator, like a like a um, walkie-talkie, and the other is trapped in like an abandoned castle, and you have to help them through. Something like that. It'd be funny to play a Jackbox game by myself. Laugh at my own jokes. It's an idea. What the hell's the name of that communication game? It looked really fun. Keep talking and nobody explodes, yeah? Did I ever stream that with Adam? I feel like that would have been funny. We were here. Yeah, that's the one. A true Jack box. A boxer Jack. Okay, I think that galleon's leaving me alone. Yeah, look, for the moment I'm probably going to keep playing Sea of Thieves. But those games are all possibilities. Probably Sea of Thieves, and then probably ne next most likely is Alan Wake, which is very funny. But... Yeah. Anything on that island? Nothing good. Oh, wait, there's a skeleton. We wanna... Nope, drop that. Fuck. Let's just hit him with a cannonball. Let's just... No, hang on. There we go. Come on. One more hit. Got him. Oh, wait, I didn't. That's bullshit. Okay. Um, they are on rotation. It might come back, but yeah, unfortunately, April HT, they are... Monthly. Captain Ill Will Hins. What? Yeah. You can get the Jackson Bailey Spooks America one, but... I get it. You know? Skeleton's orders. Why, it's for this wee island. Hell yeah. <gasps> More rum bottles to wreck. 
Come on, skeletons, fight me. Oh yeah, fuck, now that would be an idea. Imagine playing Fallout 76, my god. Do you reckon it'll get good? Do you reckon it'll No Man's Sky or Sea of Thieves itself and all of a sudden we'll have a game worth playing? When the Wastelanders thing comes out? What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, look, you're probably right, Ethan. Adam played that. He fucking... What an absolute trooper. Adam played, um... Fallout 76 for, like... At least a week. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm so, so upset about Elder Scrolls 6. One, it's set in Hammerfell, which is somewhere I really wanted to... Well, it's probably set in Hammerfell, which is somewhere I really wanted to go. Um, but... It's probably going to be shit. I'm so excited. I, it's like, the moment Elder... Like, El, uh, Skyrim was out and all that, and I started doing, like, research onto the lore of, of the Elder Scrolls, I was like, fuck, man. Send me to fucking Hammerfell, but... Not happening. Yeah, I'm leaving the ROM. So long. Okay, Elder Scrolls for some reason is the only time I'll read the lore. But I don't read it in-game. I read it on, like, wikis and shit. And it's also because Elder Scrolls lore is cooked. Catch you around, April HT. Elder Scrolls lore is just, like, it's the messiest shit, and I love it. Like how... Like, the leader of the elves at one point was a fucking moon robot. Um, or how, like, stars are holes in the sky. You know, that whole shit. I'm here for it. Let's move you. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? How close is that? Okay, miles away. Never mind. Um, yeah, Elder Scrolls lore is crazy. How, like, the Red God, who are the people from Hammerfell, um, in, in the kind of, like, Arabian, sort of, African-themed people in, in the Elder Scrolls, are the remnants of a previous incarnation of the universe who sailed a magic wave into this universe, um, and how the Yakuda, which is what they used to be, and possibly the name of their previous country, is the past, and Akaviri, which is kind of based on Asia, is the future in the Elder Scrolls lore. Um, crazy. Crazy shit. Elder Scrolls lore is good because if you just start talking, you just you sound like a raving lunatic when you start talking about it, and that's that's the best. Uh, I know that's Adam wants to do some stuff about building a campaign. That's something he wants to talk about, not necessarily world building, but about oh hello, you son of a bitch. But about yeah, building a campaign. What goes into that? Has that episode of House Rules come out yet? Where we build a campaign about fighting a unicorn? I think it has. Um, is there anything... Do you, anybody here... I mean, I know it's, it's a Sam Smith Plus exclusive show, but anybody here listen to House Rules? Any of you House Rules fans? What's Microscope? Fucking die. Oh my god. Fuck. Damn. Oh, thank you very much, Forest of Myths. Perennial White Strike. Is Perennial White Strike. Uh, some kind of king? Has he got something to do with the um, fucking elf. Uh, uh, elf Nazis, whatever they're called. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like, those who know and love house rules, is there anything you'd like to see on a house rules? Anything you'd like to see me and Adam talk about? Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> That's very funny, Mr. Munro.
Forest of Mist, either or. No, I was just, yeah, um, just wondering if there's anything people would want us to homebrew on House Rules or anything they'd like us to talk about. Currently, I'm trying to homebrew stats for, uh, like a, kind of like a plane, I guess. I don't know. Northeast, bit okay. Fucking, let's just, let's just put you down here. I am a slug boy, though. Like, I get it. Coastal entrance to the north. Okie dokie. Let's a go key. Bump ba da ba dum. Golly. Golly, Elder Scrolls is dumb. <laughs> um. No, not an Omish plane. Just for like a. Not like a D&D &D setting. More for like a kind of Indiana Jones style pulpy sort of setting. That kind of thing. Yeah, that's fun. I, I, I should really properly stat out all those Deadlands character classes or arcane backgrounds that I keep thinking of. But I am lazy. I also just like went crazy for a while and made like a fantasy world, but I never did much about that. Okay, to the north. Is this it? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just ignoring you skeletons. I don't need that shit. Is it here? I guess this isn't to the north. That's fair. I do love to rave. Hmm. Um. Oh, this is for a tall tale. I shouldn't be here. Um. I do love talking about Deadlands. Well, Deadlands is, it's just like the setting, not the setting, the system I know. So every time I come up with a brand new thing, I'm like, oh, I want to put it in there, you know, half slug, half man. That's very cool. Slugs are an underrated villain. Oh, hey, a chest. Someone's already cracked open. Hmm. Um, yeah, slugs are an underrated villain. I liked the lore stuff I had for, um... For the, De the Deadlands Australia stream thing we did. Should talk about that. Trying to make a tripped yark of like th three different sort of villains that kind of work together. Should have done something more there. Okay, where's this fucking coastal cave to the north? But I don't know if that means... Yeah, I don't need it, though. There was something in the chest, you're right, Forest of Mist, but it's not for me. You know what? Fuck it. I don't... Uh, nah. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, reading this match at the Slope Rocky Pass to the northeast. Okay. Good night, K Green. Smell you later. Sloped rocky path. That'll be this, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, it's down at the moment, but I'm sure it will. We'll put it somewhere. Maybe when we, you know, release the new YouTube channel and stuff, then it'll uh, it'll go there. Large central rock. Hey skeletons! Guess what? I don't care. I couldn't give a shit. Uh, Settlers campfire near the large central rock. I don't know if it'll ever become a full-on Sandspan show. It's a the problem with Deadlands is that it's so fucking messy and stupid that um, it's hard to streamline the same way that we can to D and for nerds with like Adam doing all the dice rolls and stuff. Oh, there's a large central rock. Campfire, campfire, campfire. Here it is. Right? Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I think we will be putting it on the YouTube channel probably, but... Graveyard to the West. But I don't know when that'll be. Like I said, everything's kind of been slowed down because of Corona, so... To 
to the west, to the window, to the wall, till the sweat dripped down your balls. Hmm. Find the skull of the candle maker in the graveyard to the west. What graveyard? The fuck are they talking about? That was a crazy way for us to upload Dano Universe. Like, I'm sure some people appreciated it, but what were we thinking? <laughs> Gotta dole that shit out. Too much of it'll make you sick. I'm a bit on fire. That's okay. <laughs> I'm coughing. Yeah, well, I get. Yeah, some people want to binge it, but I, I, we, I feel like people find that they go through it too quickly that way. They want to kind of eke it out, but you know, teach their own. Absolutely. Where's this fucking graveyard everyone keeps talking about? Oh, I'm in the complete wrong area. That's cool. Ba 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 da 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 da. Just gonna get this chest, then I'm gonna go to the island a little bit beyond it, and then I'm gonna take all that shit in and sell it, and then I'm gonna get some lunch, because I haven't eaten today. Um, oh yeah, that's an idea. I know Adam has a great story once about a bunch of friends who um, made themselves into effectively the Avengers. <laughs> Peter Pan, hell yeah. I do not see any fucking graveyard. This is killing me. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. What's the weather like where everyone is? It's quite dreary where I am at the moment. Which is sort of a shame. You know what, maybe I give up on finding this graveyard. I don't know where it is. I'm not gonna look for so long. Maybe it's in the middle, around that central rock. That would make sense. Hmm. Graveyard. There's a boat. There we go. What next? Can't make a skull. Okay. Presumably that's this, right? Same city, same weather. There you go. Yeah, it's a... Dreary. Clear sky. Clear black sky. Oh yeah, it's night for some of you. That's very funny. Seven paces southeast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm a big fan of using your shield like a weapon. That's a very cool idea. God damn it. Another ashen chest. I need a fucking ashen key. Winter just finished. Hmm. Sunny to little people out outside. Yeah, cheeky. No, it's quite dreary today, so going outside, no thank you. I will stay indoors. I guess I could go back to the um, the store or whatever, the, the outpost, and just buy some more keys, but it's annoying. I quite liked in... Ow, snake got me. I think it was in... Might have been in M M M M M M. Fuck. Why can I not remember? Northern Bounty. I think Ali had a character who had like a tower shield and that was how she fought. That was cool. 3.5's got so much versatility like that. Big fan. Bum bum bum. Ba -dum, da -da 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 -da. What D&Ds for Nerds character has had, like, your favorite mechanics with the way they play? Not necessarily your favorite character. Good night, Sweaty Yeti. Not necessarily your favorite character, like, personality-wise, but which one of you, like, enjoyed seeing fight and adventure the most, if you know what I mean? Just thinking about it there with, like, Ali's tower shield thing. Like, that's cool. Like, that's a, an interesting mechanic that I don't think we ever really played around with with, like, other characters. Yeah, so you, you gotta... You gotta favorite sort of in that sense 
let me know. Sound off in the chat, as I keep saying. Nope, turn that light on. Where am I going? Northeast. Greg Piss, that's fair. I get that. Greg Piss was tricky. He wasn't as tricky as the first, um, the first version of season four. That was, oh, Magnus was great. Magnus riding people, that's funny. Sword catcher weapon, yeah, that was cool. What? <laughs> Fuck. I forgot that Magnus's main deal was kill people, bring them back, get a piggyback. Fighting against Jigglump, always good. Drummond Electric, yeah. I miss Drummond Electric. What a character. Doing that fucking Matt Berry voice. Drummond Electric. He was fun. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hope none of them were explosive. They weren't. That's lucky. Oh, what's that? Something's coming. Big shock. Okay. We're alright. Just a big shark. Where is he? There he is. Let's fight him. Lower that anchor. Time to fight a big shark. Where are you, you dirtbag? Oh god! Okay. Okay, so that was not good. Oh god. Where are the holes? Oh, I guess we're okay. They're just here. Good night, one shot Johnson. Big shark? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Not much. Fighting a big shark now, Ethan. And missing. Oh, God. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, it would have been clever, bottom what? Board stiff what? I may just die here and my ship will sink. That would be funny. All of this hard work for nothing. Well, that's how it is on the Sea of Thieves. Shoot, monkey at shark. It's a big shark. Tell you. What? Now, how? what state do we think my ship will be in when I respawn? What are our theories? What are we... Do we think it'll have sunk? It's, uh, it's, it's taking its sweet time to let me out of heaven. There we go. No, Ethan. I think it'll be okay. Hmm. Don't like that sound to come back to. Okay. Things have been better. Things have definitely been better in the past. But we can come back from this. Just gonna repair the ship a little bit. You know, repair the ship a little bit. It's fine. 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 Tip. No. Bilge. Oh god, he's coming again. Fuck off. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, it was the same hole. How did I fit so much water in that bucket at once? I'm impressive. Just pure, unadulterated skill. Okay. Oh, hello. I need more wood. Hmm. Oh, I've got wood in the rowboat, actually. I'll be okay. No, 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 no. Forest of Mist. I can fight this shark. I fought many sharks in my time. Where is he? Where is he? You dirtbag shark. There he is. Okay. 
Why is he so far away? So hard to see. Oh, fuck. I, at least I hit him. At least I hit him this time. Poon that big shock. Dude, I'm gonna poon him good. No! Okay. Need more cannonballs. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? They are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are. Missed him. Let's patch some more holes. Or, I guess, just bilge some more. Sure is a big shark. True words were never spoken. Okay. Come on. There you are, there you are. Yeah. Fuck. Overshot like crazy. He keeps hitting this one part of the ship. What? Harpoon! Harpoon! There we go. Got him again. I'm healing, Ethan. I'm healing. God damn it. Got him. Did you see that shit? Okay. Okay. Can you imagine the skill I wield? Where is he? Where is he? Over there. How we looking? We're fine. Oh, hello. Shit, I'm out of cannonballs. Damn it. Missed him. Yeah, flawless kill. I think I've died twice. Oh, he's not dead yet, but he'll be dead soon. Okay, he's gonna attack the back of the boat. That's okay. Of all the places he could have bit us, that's kind of one of the best. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Back to it, back to it. Back at it again with the white vans. Back at it again with the white vans. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Bam! Eight shit. He's coming around this corner. Except, oh, there we go, come on. Four. Ah, now there's an idea. Now where is here? Okay, I'll do this for you guys. You've wanted it badly. When he comes around that side, here we go, here we go, eat, eight. <laughs> didn't work. No, no, not gonna get it, not gonna get it, oh, he's coming for the back again, that's okay. Infinite ammo. God damn it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, no, let's not unload the cannonball. Oh, we got him. Go team. Iced the son of a bitch. Evelyn, Violet, thank you for your advice. But we got it in the end. Despite my terrible aim, <laughs> we destroyed that big shark. We should be proud. Now let's collect the sweet loot. This truly was a group effort. Without you guys, how could have I ever even hoped to have killed that shark? Oh, 
there it is. Let's collect that sweet shark loot. See what it's given us. I don't know actually what. Oh, I'm gonna get so much shit, but we gotta go to this island first and quickly dig up some stuff. Oh, lower anchor. Okay, what did it drop? Crate of rare tea. It's always nice. Give me an A. Give me an R. Give me a G. Altered reality gaming. <laughs> oh dear. You gotta make yourself laugh in this life. You're obliged to. Ow, a shark bit me. Just a regular shark. Probably be easier to just jump on the rowboat and do this, but... Meh. Fuck you. Fuck off. I got killed by a shark. <laughs> Alright, look, I'm just gonna jump on this island. Whatever, I can ignore the shark loot. Jump on this island, collect my shit. Sell my shit. And that'll be that. Three hour stream, my god. Long time. What was your favorite moment? Hmm. <laughs> wow. I've watched my battery of my phone, which I'm using to see the chat. That's halved nearly in the time that we've been streaming. That's crazy. What an ad adventure it's been for all of us. Aw, oh, how nice. That was good when I renamed the monkey. Still, offer still stands. For a dollar, I'll rename Dragon DKX or whatever to whatever you want. Just a dollar, that's cheap. <laughs> maybe I, maybe I pay it. Renaming Mr. Mangoes. That's fair, Nightwolf. Well, Forest of Mist, unfortunately, if I renamed him, you know, whatever anybody wanted, if candy and nuts were ifs and buts, we'd all have a box of crepes, as the saying goes. Okay, here we go, here we go. Purple guy, the man behind the slaughter. I miss Mr. Mangoes. I hate the purple fool. Alright, where's our shit? So... I don't know. You tell me. Wait, no, maybe this was it. Dig here. Nope. Dig here. No. Damn it. I don't... Where am I? Maybe it's the other side of the island. <laughs> Is this rock... That's that rock. Okay. So, there should be... Hello! Hello, my, fa my family. Fuck you, skeleton. Fuck you, skeleton. Eat shit, skeleton dickheads. I ain't got no time for your skeleton shit. You died, stay dead. Coming back's not cool. Yeah, you can run away, you coward. Whoa! Hey, we've been raided. That's cool. You got us. You you did it. Well done. Um, yeah, I yeah oh, okay. I don't know. Oh you're back. Okay. Um like I met like maybe I play through one of the Wario games. Oh, that would be fun. Yes. Maybe Wario Land 3? Uh Whatever, I don't even need those fucking chest. This is shit chest. 
Yeah, Warrior Land 3. Yeah, I know, we've been boarded. Whatever, let them have the ship. That's my, you know, my policy. If we're boarded, we bow down. It's their ship now. Hey, skeleton, fuck off. What's the point of a raid? <laughs> That's not even me being snarky. What, what? Why? Uh, maybe they've just come to watch. Welcome. Wow, I have 111 viewers now. I guess that's the raid? Were you in the rowboat? Hello, everybody. How you doing? Hope everything's G on your end. Life's pretty crazy right about now. Thank God there's a place you can go where everybody knows your name. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Oh, Forest of Mist. All right, time to name, rename the ship. Oh, I see. Well, that's great. Well, welcome. We're Sans Pants Radio. We're actually a conglomerate of people, but today it's just me. And I'm playing Sea of Thieves poorly. Somebody's just donated a dollar. Would you... So I'm going to rename Mr. Mangoes who's name, to Forest of Mist. Forest of Mist. Oh, you want the monkey to be named Grape Ape, that's right. Well, that one's Forest of Mist then, and now he's Grape Ape. He's actually a monkey, so that's not even correct, necessarily. Thanks for the follow, everyone. Big ups. Bum, bum. Let's eat a banana. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The purple one's named Grape Ape. Get off my case. I did it. It's over. Fuck are you, skeleton. Ugh. Uh, uh. Okay. Anyway, where was I fucking digging? There, uh, it's all just dog shit chests. Do you, you want to get out of my fucking... I promise, when I die, I am not coming back as a skeleton. That's my promise to you guys, okay? I think people who do come back as skeletons... I'm morally opposed to it. I'm coming back as a ghost or not at all? Yeah, run away. Uh, I didn't buy the purple one. I See, I bought... Um... Fucking Mr. Mangoes. And then... Did not mean to shovel. Oh, he's still running. I bought Mr. Mangoes and then we... It was like a... Like a well, you've been playing Sea of Thieves for like X amount of time. Oh my god. Um, and so you got it just as like a free thing. I did offer to sell my skeleton, that's very true. But I wasn't in it currently. In it. Wow, a thousand dollars for my skeleton. That, I did not value my earthly remains terribly highly, did I? That's very funny. Bwop, 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 yeah. Reincarnated as Ape Joel, as we all one day will be. Let's eat this fucking mango. Yeah. Well, in a way, you're in your skeleton, right? When you die. I don't need those chests, I'm just taking this one. Okay, 10,000 grand is a little bit more reasonable for the sale of one skeleton. That seems to make sense to me. You sell your skeleton, 10k. Your 10k, but 10k and, you know... If, 10k up, 10k in the black, as they say. You're down one skeleton. That's okay. Well, if you become a ghost, then you repossess your skeleton. Huh. Well, whatever. That's where I'm heading. Southwest. What would be your ideal, you know, you've died, you get a chance to come back in some form. What would be your ideal form? Yeah, 60 quid. Yeah, what would be your ideal returning from the grave form to come back in? You know, like mummy, zombie. What, what, what works for you? What works and what doesn't? That's what I'm here to find out today. Southwest. Ba, ba, ba. I think I would like to come back as a mummy. I think that's a good choice. Zombie seems boring, but mummy seems like you get a bit of power. 
An angry crow. Forest of Mist. Left field. Good choice. I would like to come back as a vision warning someone of, like, a future danger. Like, I just come back to be like, don't go to, don't go to market. <laughs> Whatever. Come back like Jesus. Great choice. Christ risen from the dead. I like to come back the same. Like, I just die for a bit, and then I'm back, and they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, it was only brief. It was a momentary death. I'm good again. I got better. Werewolf, great choice. I'd like to possess a house. That seems nice. You know, people are like, death nap? Yeah. Oh, weekend at Bernie's. I'd like to come back as a DVD copy of Frasier Season 2 that's haunted. And, like, occasionally Frasier just, like, glitches out and says something that I might say. Well, Niles, imagine sucking on a dog or whatever. You have that. That's crazy. That's true. I'd like to come back as a baby with all my knowledge. Oh, Rio Rat coming, pulling a Charlotte's Web. That's good. Come back as Charlotte. I'd like to come back as Charlotte's Web, the story, the narrative. Sound carries really well in the block of flats I live in. Do you think they think I'm just talking to myself or on like a really long phone conversation? <sighs> Haunted City ROM is very good. I like to come back as the plot of Night at the Museum. Do you reckon this galleon up ahead is gonna attack me? I don't think they will. They seem nice. That's rude of you to say. Yeah, they're probably like, God, that guy down there, just talking to himself. We used to have, so we, we have new neighbors above us. Um, but when we first moved in, me and my partner, the first neighbors, we often heard them fucking. And one night I heard them going at it and the guy came and as he came, he said, Oh yeah. And I think that's so funny. You're a good forest of mist. Don't even stress. Stack of cases of Dr. Pepper. Oh, fuck. Dr. Pepper's good. What am I having for dinner? Bolognese. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, it's just, it's cooked. Oh, yeah. He was like a porn star. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. That's what it sounded like. I laughed in bed. <laughs> Mr. Monroe, I thought you said Ratatouille by fucking harder. Ratatouille the gaunt. Hey, let's, um, last stream people requested that I Jack Sparrow my way into shore. Let's do it. Oh, uh, actually, hmm, that actually might not work. Look, I will sometime. No, I never met them. I never really, I can still kind of Jack Sparrow into shore. Hang on. Ba-da-dun-dun-da-da-dun-dun-da-da-dun-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
You want this exquisite spice? Fuck. Jesus, that's crazy, Kazbox. I'm pretty okay with not seeing friends. Well, okay, that sounded rude. I, I just can handle it okay, I think. I'm surprisingly less of an extrovert than you might assume, so... <laughs> I love not seeing Joel Zammett, especially. That's great. No, I do, I do miss seeing my friends, but, like, I can just... Like, the other day I was watching... We, we were sharing videos in a chat, and one of the videos was of Adam trying to lock me in a... Uh, suitcase whilst everybody watched and laughed and I was like oh man like I got I got like I, wistful I missed everyone um. I mean yeah I'm I, watching old videos of the gang hanging out makes me miss it greatly but by and large I'm, I can be okay I'm I don't know I know some other people are going crazy but That's wild, eating your grandparents. When are you gonna get an Xbox for the company, Zamet, and come play Sea of Thieves with me? That's my question. Let's sell this mermaid gem. Whatever, let's sell this mermaid gem and then let's just go buy two keys and crack them open. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Rats. Pay cut for hurt feelings. Sorry, I can't pay rent. I insulted my boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take this in. So these ashen chests, they're like, they did this thing where in each ashen chest there's, there's, you need a key to open them. So you gotta find the key as well. And they have tomes. And selling the tomes lets you, like, unlock shit. So, and that shit is like a, you know, like a, some sails and some fucking cannons and stuff. And cosmetics are really the only thing that upgrades in this game, so... I've been enjoying kind of working my way through that. Ooh, actually, I should probably repair my ship. Just because... I'm gonna need to, yeah... I might just go do that now. No, I think Zama was saying work in the new studio is still kicking on, apparently, in in parts. Yeah, but I don't know. He he he'll, he'll give you a better idea than I will. I don't really know what's happening. But it's coming. It's it's yeah. It's closer than you'd think. Bum ba da ba da ba. Bum ba. Watch your back. Watch your back. Yeah, I was gonna call the stream at 3.30. Yeah, haha, ha, forest of mist. But I want to take care of this, so... I'll be here a little bit longer. Yeah. Building a podcast studio is essential. Okay, propose voyage. Nope, I cooked it. That's not what I wanted to do. Propose voyage, ashen key, vote. Hmm. I think it is Flight of the Valkyrie. No, Flight of the Valkyrie is like not that. Da -da -da, that's Flight of the Valkyrie. Well, you should be in bed. It's only four for me. Boom! 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 Let's go unlock this fucking ashen chest, eh? Eh? Oh, I think it's raining outside. How nice. Man, going to sleep last night with the rain? Are you kidding me? Whoa. Sell you that. Sell you that. Sell you that. Close this. Sell you that. Talk to you. Whereas you stuck. Brassy black market. Buy myself another fucking key. Do it all again. Goodbye, my friend. 
Oh, that sucks, Kezbox. I actually woke up at 10.30, but I, even though it was, like, nice trying to get to sleep last night, I didn't get to sleep till pretty late. So then, like, I woke up a bit late today, which was unfortunate. Okay. Where's that other ash? And there it is. New title's been added to the vanity chest. Well, then in a way it's on you. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Or oh, around here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, everybody in the company needs. Zama needs to get them Sea of Thieves so we can all play together. That's. I don't make the rules. But maybe I should start. Uh, yeah, I think that's Wormwood. Wait, is that is this the one? Am I just in the wrong area? No, this must be it. Yeah. No. See if the, yeah, that's where we'll have our meetings from now on. On the glorious Sea of Thieves. I'm so confused. Is this not the... There's that side of the... That's presumably that side. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Oh, yeah, that rain is lovely. Oh, my God. Fucking... There it is. Yeah, go to bed. You oughtn't be up right now. That's crazy. I'm nearly done anyway. I'm just selling this chest and then it's bedtime for boys. That's what my dad used to say when it was time for me and my brother to go to sleep. Bedtime for boys. It's just a little tidbit about my life. You can have that. You can have that. I'll grab the doubloon pouch. You can have that. What did I get for selling all of them? Unlocked a lot of shit just then. Um, Nothing here, I guess. But presumably, a lot here. Oh, hell yeah. Still haven't unlocked any of this shit, which is annoying. But I'll grab you. Alright, well, that's me, you, you darlings. You sweet angels. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna get something to eat. Thank you so much for uh, watching this whole stream. Till another time.